Yo, what's up, Steve? Yo. Yo. Good, good and morning. finally, for once, Medios is the one who's late. What the fuck is going on here? Haha. -ha. It's true. Hard to get up, man. 12 o'clock? That's pretty early. Jesus Christ. It's Scaling City. I really dislike playing Ezreal against Jinx. That shit feels pretty rough. Hmm. Yeah, Jinx is kind of a counter. Yeah, it is. It is, it is. I actually was talking to Tyler1 at uh, Houston Finals, where we were at. And yeah. he had a really interesting take, which I never actually thought about. And he said, Ezreal was, the second they locked in Ezreal in the finals, I knew that they won. It was like one of the, maybe it was the last game. I was like, why? And he's like, it's Ezreal against four melee, dude. That's a mm. free win. I was like, I guess that makes sense. Like, hmm. I guess the more melee, like, bruiser fucking type of comp, like, the better Ezreal is. But I guess logically it didn't really make sense to me because I was like, does that mean that range champions is actually what counters Ezreal? And, like, in a way, it, it, that is true. Tyler yeah. one's kind of smart. Yeah, it is definitely range champs because, you know, they, they counter deal with his poke. Yeah, they can fight back. Even though he has slightly longer range, usually other range champs, like, when they hit, they fucking two-shot Ezreal. Yeah. So, ever since then, I've been thinking about, like, wow, maybe Ezreal... Like, I was thinking about it the other way around, where I'm like, oh, Ezreal's really good when the enemy team's really squishy, you know? Because, like, then my Q is going to chunk them 30% of their health. Mm -hmm. But he did thought of the other way around, was like, oh, well, all Ezreal needs to do is just kite melee champs, doesn't matter how much damage he's really doing. Okay. Perfect. True. This whole narrative. The narrative that's solo queue is useless, like any solo queue is the worst, mm. is actually true. But then the more the narrative gets pushed, the like worse it gets because then people get really discouraged to play. Oh. Wow, that was that was two vitals just popping up in like one second. The fuck? Or mm -hmm. am I blind? It looked like somebody popped a vital and then another one just spawned instantly. I uh, I, I don't know actually the how fast it spawned. I, it's pretty quick. Do you remember when Medius was telling us? Or maybe you weren't there when you were saying like the there's actually a oh, dead as hell. Wow, that that was a fucking sick play by Huhi. What the fuck? yeah? It it it's always a little, oh there's so much to talk about there. It looked like Huhi was getting caught, and then he just. Kind of just like insta e flash max range and like yeah no <laughs> unexpected. What were we saying? Uh, like the way that the vital spawn is calculated. Um, there's only like between two different types it can actually spawn. Mm. It's like when it gives you a good one, it gives you like a, a side bad one right after. Hmm. And then it gives you a good one again. So like oh I, I, I see, think I it's see. side dependent too like. Yeah. If you're, if you're, you know, red side, and blue side, like it'll give you the up if you're blue side. Like, if you're see, playing I against see. Yura. I've actually almost never touched that champ. I've only, I think I've mostly played Fiora in Earth, where she's totally broken. <laughs> Dude, yesterday I played a Champions League game with River. Uh, like, I was like wondering, like, maybe I'm like overhyping this guy, and like, obviously it's just a fucking Champions Q game, but he went 15 kills on Wukong, and he actually, he actually won a 1v5. Like, he, oh. he played Wukong, and he actually 1v5 them. <laughs> it was just, it was just totally crazy. God damn. This champ balance? Nope. Look at that. Yeah, no. Look what he you is, just caused. He is a, a crispy guy. And then I was talking to Ming about it, and I was like, I was like, ask him, you know, is, is, he, is he good? Is he like worse than I think? It is he's like, no, he's, he's just team gapped. <laughs> I, like, he might actually be the best jungler, but how the fuck can you know? Everyone's always getting their shit caved in. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's very hard to tell when people are on like weaker teams. Like oh, how, any how good individually they are. Yeah, any role, role. Sure. yeah. It's so it's so fucked. Like, I feel like, you know, in every single position, 
I mean, 80 carries experience, the whole like, damn, my support just fucking blows and I'm getting perma formand every every stacked wave is just I'm I'm scared for my life under my turret. Not sure if I'm gonna die here. And uh you know, I'm sure for like literally every roll. Jungle. Oh, Gomsu. A wave girl? Oh, it is. Okay. Gomsu's the master of the wave girl. If, if you're speed running it, how long would it take you to get an, an ending without cheesing? Depends on the I strat. Mean, the, the, spe the speed runners? The, the speed runners are like literally like 10 minutes, right? Or like. Yeah, there but, are some like crazy. Okay, okay, what about like. It's gonna take hours. Like, what about like a, like a not actual speedrun, but like a, a normal person who knows what they're doing? Like if, if you were gonna It'll take do a you playthrough. Good bit. Yeah, I don't know, maybe like 10 hours? Yeah, something like I'm that. I'm trying to imagine a normal, uh, yeah. Can't relate, man. Uh -huh. We're not normies out here. Not it's like it's, it would've like 10 hours. routing of just like regularly killing the bosses? Yeah, like 10 yeah. hours or something. Oh, Jesus. That was a huge Herald bot lane. They got so much value out of that. I, I, I'm surprised the turret lived. <laughs> I wonder what led to that happening. Did River? I, I feel like a lot, sometimes like people, people just kind of forget they have Herald. They're like, yeah, I'll use it later. And then, oh shit, there's 12 seconds left. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that can happen. The ba boomers. There has definitely, I'm trying to think, has there, there, there have been definitely like stretches of time where my most played game is not Lee. I'm, like every, every fucking pro player, you're lying if you, if that's not, if you, that's true, or you just like don't play other games. I, there, there, there's been like a month, I remember when Witcher 3 came out and I was just, I was just right, spamming well, Witcher 3 in scrim scrim time scrims. though. Huh? Well, you're not including scrim time as League, are you? No, I, I am, like I would scrim five hours. And then I'd play Witcher like seven hours <laughs> after scrims. Ah, I see. <laughs> I mean, that would not last a fucking year. It would last like a couple weeks or a month, but like that has definitely happened. I, I don't I, think I ever did that while I was like playing pro, but like I took breaks. Like I would take splits off. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, I, on, I on P1, mean. like I don't really count that as, as playing. Like I didn't. Yeah. Play any fucking league. I played a yeah. dick load of other games, but like I never. Had Maybe it I'm exaggerating overly... about the. Oh. Oh. That was that was that was nice. That was nice. Got his flash. I mean, I, maybe I'm maybe I'm actually overestimating uh, like how much league I, or how much of the other game I was playing compared to league because it is hard to to outweigh like scrim time. But I will say there was a time on TSM 2016 where me, Monster, and Bjergsen were so addicted to Dark Souls 3, we would just finish scrims. And then we would all just be stuck on a boss, like raging in front of our PCs, like checking up, like, oh God, did, you, did you kill the boss? Did you, are you still stuck? And like, we would just do that for like weeks. It was so fun. Yeah, that shit's, that shit's <laughs> hella fun. Yeah, I feel like if a whole team's doing it together, it's like not that bad. Yeah. Definitely. It's only bad if like some, it's like one person doing it, and then is he's like, yeah. he starts slacking, and then everyone else and everyone gets annoyed else is... that he's like not trying. And they're playing like shit, you know, like if. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that that W was so weird. I don't understand. Like sometimes it just like lingers there invisibly. Oh yeah. Oh baby, can you get the uh, Chipotle? Here, I can get Chipotle. What do you want? Let's go. Well, I mean, I already ordered it thanks to Grubhub, and according oh. to the Grubhub guarantee, it's fast, on time, or we'll make it right. Boom. Oh my god, god, I'm so well trained. God, Tell me to fetch. Hot. Tell me to fetch. Did you get seven dollars huh? off? Uh oh yeah, wait, you can get seven dollars off. And a chance to play with me sneaky and double lift. Mm -hmm. I mean that's more important than seven dollars off. Oh damn, who he loves just E flashing in and it's actually working. Dead dead. Dead. Bye bye. You are not the one. You are know, the dead. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Like they're they're winning the fight, you? but it's like the sloppiest fight. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, so great timing, play. great timing. Wow, that was personal. <laughs> and then just goes to Krugs. 
like that. Yes, it's know. a Krugs game. Wait, uh -oh. is he? I don't think Gomsu wins that. Oh, jeez. It's a whip. He just fucking. They should put Gomsu on Wukong because it's like Winston. Oh. He likes playing Pink Monkeys. Fuck! I mi I missed an opportunity when he when he like with the ulti, but it was actually to clear the wave top to say Winston name. <laughs> okay, just gotta wait for his next whip ulti. Mm. Yeah, put that, put that one in the the notes. List of fucking punchlines and deliveries for today. Bangers. Absolutely Man, bangers. Just got totally fucked. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she just got zerged the fuck down. That, there was not a lot that Neo can do there except for flash over blue. That that was probably the only way that he could maybe live that. Yeah, he must have not seen the CP as well. Mm. Hey, do you guys see the Baker V2 Ezreal uh, build video? <laughs> Someone tagged us in it. Yeah, that that's why I watched what? it. That video is pretty triggering, but... What? <laughs> What's the video? What's the video? It's just... He just goes through, Perfect. like, what he thinks Ezreal players should be doing. And it's Baker like, does? Or a random? No, Vagar V2. Oh. So, like, what? what is he saying? Just... He, he basically just says that, like, Trinity Force is bad. And you should be going, like, Prowler or Eclipse. But I don't know, like... Yeah. It was an okay video, but it, it it felt to me like he wasn't really like giving Trinity Force like a proper test. Like he, he was just comparing damage of like one Q with all the yeah. builds. Yeah, it, it was it was very troll. Oh my god, Brom got dragged. Let's nice go. one, Bio. Ooh, he had Smite, I think. Spellbook, maybe. Maybe it's RNG. But yeah, the, the, this is the build he was recommending in his video. He said first strike, but not precision. He he was saying first strike with uh, Ingenious Hunter and Pace of Blood. Stack your tier. Oh my Chain god, he's dead as hell. Yeah, but, Poor Neo, dude. Bro, okay, so like, you was saying Neo, very bro. specific stuff. Like, like, he was saying if you go Essence Reaver, you should do Manamine first, and you always start tier. Thing Doran's blade sucks. Like I, I don't know. There's, there's just too many like. There should be absolutes. Yeah, like way too many absolutes, indeed. Because these things aren't all true all the time. Like I think Doran's blade does have its own scenarios. I think tier start always yeah. kind of sucks, but yeah, of course, man. That's that's ridiculous. Like, it's like very lane matchup dependent, and then like Trinity, I, I think does have a lot of value. Like he he put no value in the move speed on Trinity. He said all the Trinity items suck, which is not true. Like Kendall Jim's fine. The Hearthbound Axe is fine. Like the move speed's good. The attack speed's really good on Trinity. Like th there's a ton of value in those things that he completely devalued and like in favor of, of his argument completely ignored. Yeah, I, I thought it was a little weird that, like, he didn't really mention the fact that, like, Trinity increases your base damage as you stack it, too, which is, like, you know, bigger Sheen procs. Yeah. Which makes it way more equivalent in terms of damage. Mm hmm I mean, at the end of the day, there's, like, an invisible part of the game, which is just... It's a real-life situation as opposed to a mathematical situation. And like, I think you should know both, right? Like getting more info is always great. It's like, I want to know what the mathematically best, yeah. best like few damage I can have, you know, at 20 minutes with this amount of gold at this level is. And I also want to know, based on playing the game, like what feels the best because you're not playing against training dummies. Like real situations call for like slight variations in like what's what affects your champ, like which includes runes, summoners and items. And, and like skill order everything so yeah i mean i think i think like having an a, like mathematical go-to is always nice though yeah I, I but agree. if you speak too much in absolutes you basically come off as a guy who's like really yeah it, it, like the more you speak in absolutes like that 
and you kind of come off as like, oh, if you don't believe this, if you don't think this way, then you're brain dead and trolling, then like, you kind of just come off as a guy who's like really stuck. Yeah. Like, you're always going to do this, and, and you don't want to hear any other opinions, and, like, the way that you see the game is the only way to see the game. That's, like, not a good look. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. See, I mean, I, I personally don't even know which one's really better between Trinity and Essence. Like, I've been testing both anyway. Uh, but I, I couldn't even definitively say, honestly, just playing both. It's just like, yeah, they're both good, like... Kindy has a pretty good spike. Essence skills a lot better. Uh, I, I, I like, I I like Essence a lot more. It has the best synergy with Manmune because you have full mana too. Yeah. Like, and Manmune takes a, your current mana, so like the lower you are, like as you like run out of juice with Trinity, your Manmune's giving you, or your Mermana, I guess, is giving you less and less value. Um, so that's kind of like an invisible thing that feels good. But. I don't know. I have somebody builds Trinity in a game that makes sense for it. I'm not gonna be like, damn, what a dumbass. Doesn't he know about the math? <laughs> I don't think. I thought they changed that part about the current mana. Yeah, I thought I, it was, was based gonna, on your max mana. That's what I was gonna say. I think they did change. Oh it. really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I totally didn't know that. I would think it has to do with like the type of game you're in too, though, because like, they're definitely different games where like some games you're gonna like need to be playing like pretty frontline for your team other times you're like up against a shit ton of tanks that you have to like chew through yeah the, the mana thing is uh just based on your max mana oh okay okay well, it never bad. it never stops proccing well regardless having infinite mana feels good i think yeah. i think ss river feels the best like when you yeah when you're scaling basically um and also, it's weird to compare Essence to Trinity, just because you're comparing a Mythic item to a Legendary, and yeah, it's just Trinity's sheen way slot more expensive. All. Yeah, it's like, which Sheen slot do you want? So the opportunity cost of having Trinity is like, oh, now you can't go another Mythic. And like, sometimes having Dust Blade, sometimes having Eclipse feels good. I am not a Prowler's Claw fan, but... I don't know. I haven't tried it, uh, but I just know the item is... Basically, the active is worthless. Like, yeah, sure, sometimes you can do something with it, but 90% of the time, you're not actually using the active, which is a very strong part of Prowlers. Any assassin that buys Prowlers, Prowlers actually fucking giga chunks with that proc. Yeah, Maybe something you're not I think using is kind of relevant is, is um, like, if you do that, like, you know, mathematical highest key damage Ezreal build with like you know these three items he has plus Prowler like you're actually so squishy like you have zero defensive defense like no health no resist yeah kind of just one shotable by oh. like, a lot of jams the Gomsu yeah. just TPs in casually with 20% health because he like he started channeling right in front of someone yeah I think so he's getting his ass beat like blocked in DB I definitely mm. dislike the amount of frozen hearts I see, though. Yes. Especially the fucking, uh, was it Johnson's build yesterday? The frozen heart maw tank edge. Yeah, Johnson's build is straight reportable. This so is better bad. because Cyrilda's is core on Ezreal, man. Yeah, he, that's such if a If you're not good ruler item. or deft, you're fucking building Cyrildas, man, or you're actually <laughs> trolling. Even those guys should build it. Even those guys do it. But, like, those guys are so good that, like, you could maybe say, like, well, I'm just gonna hit every fucking Q anyways, so I don't need it. But, no, yes. it's, it's so OP. I don't know yeah. about that. <laughs> you're playing against people that are good at dodging it, too, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. And you just can't dodge it when you're slowed. Yes! I think it's also about the team utility, not even, like, pure selfishly, but having the chance to chain slow somebody for your team to focus that guy or like, yeah, you know, to create kill opportunities, to create engage. If you cue somebody out of position, you might get their flash. No, you just need, you need to build this shit. The first heart now, this is what the Chinese Ezreal 
buys a lot, so I, I didn't really like it, and then I saw fucking some dude who's rank one of the Chinese super server is like spamming Frozen Heart, and I'm like, okay, maybe it's better. Nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. <laughs> I, I, I do think that seems like a situational thing, right? Like, if you have to fight a Jinx or something, That's three. it seems not bad. Like, a fed mm -hmm. carry, you're, it's going to give you a lot of value for just, like, actually being able to jump on them and fight them versus just getting blown the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's some crazy threat in you, for sure. But I don't know, I, I'd weigh value. Being actually good damage. Oh. Yeah, as hell. No flash. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh, 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 huh? oh, God. Billy's going everywhere. <laughs> oh, wait. He missed the sigil. Do it, do it, do it. Come on. Dolo, this is you. Oh. Say the line. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. I have food in my mouth. <clears throat> Waiting. Pause. Winston <laughs> LOL! Got him. That was sick. They're actually doing no damage to Braum. Dude, why does that Leona ult look like Volibear's E? Wait, FBI? Whoa! Uh. Oh! oh Damn, Damn I... Surreal this, surreal this, surreal this, baby. Surreal this. Then. <laughs> what the fuck? He actually thought that he would kill, huh? The first one. Wait, smite Braum? Oh my god, they have two smites here. They actually can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Dior is nice and balanced. He's one of the fairest champs on this patch. Mm-hmm. If, if you're really only looking at options that are side grades from Fake God, then like, there had to have been some there had to have been something better that they could have done. Just anything, man. Also, I heard a funny story, which now we can, I can say and rest in peace, but I heard that Fake God had the nickname of Montage Maker because he was always on the receiving end of top lane montages, like Summit and Impact, like being like 200 CS up. Oh, no. <laughs> and like the, the highest CS lead like ever created top lane in the history of esports was like against Fake God, so he used Montage Maker. <laughs> Dad. Oh, God damn. Too good. Too yeah, good. I mean, it's hard to say. Like, I think both of them are probably not going to do well versus very many LCS top laners. Look, I think it's actually unfair to rate any top laner. Fake got included when they're playing against Summit or Impact. Those guys were shitting on everybody. Uh, like, yeah. They were shitting on Kumo. They were shitting on Fake God. Like it was. So like if you if you subtract those counting. games, which were outliers, I think Gomsu and Fake God. You could you can switch the nameplates right now. Wouldn't tell the difference. Yeah. I mean, I also don't yeah. know about Sedge Shop too, because he's played it twice now. Yeah. I, yeah, he's played Sedge into Fiora, which is like, I am not convinced even a good player on Sedge can do anything to a Fiora. Yeah. She like this weird matchup. I, like, I don't know what the fuck the obsession with Sedge is. Nuguri said, Sejuani Top is the best champ in the game. And every K Korean fanboy collectively shit their pants and said, okay, I'm <laughs> practicing Sedge tonight. <laughs> Nuguri could literally say, I think Yumi Top is the best champ in the game and everyone's giving Yumi. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, dude, it's so funny when I when you see Bill's justification. Like if someone said that, they'd be like, oh dude, it actually makes so much sense. Like you're 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 still getting all the value of Yumi, but like she's in a solo lane, so she's gonna have like more items next blah, 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 and I'm just like Shut the fuck up. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh my uh... Dude, I fucking can't I, I can't focus. I can't focus. When I watch when I watch River's team play, it's like actually the funniest shit in the whole world. Everyone is like, they're literally like Diamond 4 players, mechanically. But they're like, on LCS right now, and it's it's so disgusting. How does this keep happening? 
What the did fuck? That looks so Neo weird. Like, did, did Closer not just like walk up to their entire team with his W channel and just throw it at Jinx and he, he died? Did, but he was stealth. But uh huh. He did. Did oh, did you guys see they're removing that match? mechanic on Diego? Oh, thank God, dude. I did not see that they're doing it though. Yeah. Like you can't W E at the same time. Just have like an invisible stun. Yeah, it, it's broken. It's li literally unreactable. Yeah. Wait, sorry. What's Pretty the wack. mechanic? If is Viego like, if you press your W and your E, like your W a fraction of a second before your E, like the entire channel of your W is just invisible. Like the other team oh. doesn't even know you're starting it. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. When you shoot it, the W, you can't even see the projectile before it hits you. Like it will hit you at the same time that he appears. So like, I've never played Viego, you but on the receiving coming. end, I didn't realize that he had to press W before E. I just assumed that Viego can always do that to me. You know, like I didn't, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, he. It was a specific. It's like mechanic. if his E's down first and he starts his W, he'll show for like a second or something and then go back faded but if you do that like a uh, w into e you're like completely invisible for the whole thing and like they don't even see that you started your stun channel analogy true which you mean holy shit what the yumi i, I i've been Is wanting to see this for real for real oh twitch yumi I want to yeah. see it lose, but I want to see it. I don't know. Twitch seems actually good. With Bork. AP Twitch? Yeah. Uh, no, Bork cracking two items. Like Bork yeah. into Kraken. It's actually nutty. So you go damage. Bork first? Yeah, 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 you do. It's so huh. strong. It's weird as fuck. That's not saying. Like, Bork is like randomly a good item. You have to die to it once, and then you're like. What the fuck, man? No, like, I, I was like I've, 2k I've gold seen, ahead of this guy. I've yeah. seen Kraken first, usually. Kraken's yeah, actually Bork... worse. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Bork has this, like, amazing, like, kill pressure that Kraken just doesn't have. Uh-huh. From this slow? Mm-hmm. So then what do you do? Like, Kraken into, like, your zeal item and IE? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, like, Bork, Kraken, into Runon slash PD, and then some people just go uh, Tiamat item, so they go like either Ravenous or uh, Titanic Hydra fourth. I, I like crit, like I'm pretty, I would just go like PD IE, but mm -hmm. you can do like the tankier, like splash damage build, I guess, if you think it's good that game. It's just so cocky to, to early pick Yumi, uh, yeah, to early pick Yumi, but I think it's a little clever that they that they confirm first like okay we have a strong jungler and it's a it's a jungler that plays really well with enchanter's bot and like a lot of the good other good junglers are kind of just they're just not available yeah they did it into lilia as well who in like lilia i don't know i think she's strong but her play style is so weird i always she's, assume lilia is a like flex a though but yeah, they, they can. Lilia flex. That's a dozen for me. Yeah, I was mm. assuming that you, you can put her top if you really want to. Oh, Pick like Jarvan or some shit to just camp bot. Yeah. She is weird though. She has like no. She has no gank pressure until six. Yeah, dude, her alt cooldown is so long early game too. It's like, I think, two and a half minutes now. Hmm. I'm gonna oh, look it wow, up. Vulcan goes Sona and not Renata? That's weird. I would yeah, have it's totally... 150 rank one. Mm. A, a long time Yumi. ago, a long time ago, Sona was an answer to Yumi. I would say the biggest difference between old enchanters like Sona and Lulu and new enchanters like Yumi and Seraphine is the new enchanters are unkillable. Yumi's literally untargetable, and Seraphine can do all of her abilities from a screen away while the other enchanters can't do that. And so, I always feel like, yeah, even Janna, you know, she's pretty old school. It's like, you kind of have to be like in the thick of it. You have to be like, put yourself in a dangerous position, potentially, 
to like do your job. Yeah. I mean, that's and true. I always see Sona just die. Like that's the main thing that I see is like to, in order to be in range to be useful with Sona, you might die. That doesn't exist with Perfect. any of the new enchanters. EG has a few issues with their comp that they need to overcome. I feel like FlyQuest might actually win this game if it goes late. Um, just because there's a couple things like EG's comp gets countered pretty hard by clans. Gets countered pretty hard by Mikhail. So if three champs who have this like one big button that gets countered by the same thing. Also, Ezreal versus Twitch. Extremely, extremely one-sided scaling. Um, it feels like EG, like, because they're better than FlyQuest, they could they should totally win this game off of skill alone. But like if it does go 25 or 30 minutes and they lose a fight, I can totally see them losing the game. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Fly is a really good team fight. Yeah, they have a very good team fight. Uh, it, Lissandra and Lilia together is not typically a combo. No, it's not. Countered by the same thing. Yep. Whoever, like, started it, I, I, it was definitely originated in either China or Korea, but, like, it always comes back. It, I don't understand <laughs> these Lilia quote-unquote ganks mid that's the second time he's just like shown up to hit the wave with jojo like maybe he's really, just this isn't a real play oops sorry bro had to take some yeah wait impact might know. die here he needs to get the cannon for six but he's dead anyways he's getting fucking dicked bye bye wait, wait he he's alive uh-oh oh. fun porch oh god durability Yo. well fucking played at the same time like how I think, did he live that? I think that was that must have been so poorly played by Philip. No, he looks so fucking uh, dead to that vital. I need to see yeah. a replay. I was uh, I was more focused on like what was gonna happen after he died to even think like if he could live it. Yeah. So like I think JoJo wasn't able or not JoJo Jose wasn't really able to get in. I think he had to like W and flash just to hit GP and and then GP flashed away. Let's see it. So it looks like Jose Phillip was like should, pretty far. Philip should just tank to the absolute maximum. He, yeah, he could have tanked one more. <sighs> that, that was a really weird flash from Jose, though, wasn't it? Did he really I, I think Jose. Jose played it like overly cautiously. I think he he went too slow. And I think Philip could have waited, perhaps. I think Philip just choked a little bit. Like he, he, he should wait one more tower shot there. And but like, why would he flash in though, Jose? Yeah. He, he why, probably why just thought it was a one shot at any point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you I, I just... actually, th I think that was more on Jose than Philip. You can just take that really slow. It's true. Yeah. I think they felt pressured because Lissandra was on the way. Yeah. Mm, yeah. The and, and so then. Rather than go super fast, Jose was like waiting in the bush, like edging far from the fight to like try to spot Lissandra coming in, I guess. Inspired's had a cozy game, dude. Just camp to camp Lilia, you know, a little mid XP here and there. Yeah, maybe like Danny can freeze his lane and get him even more ahead. Oh, surely Impact doesn't live this one. This one's not a dive, his superpower is not active. Oh wait, Impact's making it a dive over here. <laughs> oh, he got the range minions. Okay. GG. So worth. You see that plus three from the call? That's a that's I a boss that moment one. right there. Getting ganked just all run. He typed L9 in all chat as he did that. Kids these days don't know about L9. And honestly, even when I was like, L9 was never really a thing in, in NA. Oh. I never experienced it. It was always, like, fucking European folklore. I, I, I always heard it more of, like, a meme than for real. Yeah, yeah, it was a meme. Or is it? It's actually funny how two of L9's players are, like, some of the biggest fucking brands in Europe. Rat IRL and Selfmade are, like, original L9 members, and... <laughs> it's, like... These guys randomly are fucking one pro player, one streamer now. Was there ever like an official L9 or was it always just kind of like a loose group? Like was I there think a... it was I think it was a loose group of 
people, including Rat IRL, Self Made, Apocalypse, and uh, Darkwind Jax. And like two of them went off the deep end and actually were totally psychotic crazy. And two of them convinced everyone that they weren't like that. <laughs> uh, wasn't there also like a porn star Zillion? Was he, Was he L9? I don't think we actually I mean, know you could, anything about you'd it. You'd probably just like be able to ask one of the people who was in it, right? Like Someone says that porn or... star Zillion is in jail. Is that true? Uh... I have someone saying porn star Zillion was streaming today to three to four thousand people. Really? Oh shit. Must have a nice jail set up to do that. <laughs> Damn. Cozy cell. <laughs> Jensen was not an L9, no. He was not. Everyone was a wannabe L9 player. God damn, Jose again. Once again, hitting top lane hard. Impact says, try 1v1 jail. next time, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Is Wait, Jose? Goated Jose? Yeah. Huh. Wait. He's fine. I thought JoJo was, was gonna fucking ult his ass, but I don't think that kills, so good that he didn't. I guess. Damn. It, like, EG is not necessarily losing. Two man. Play. Two man. Oh? Did they? Jose's they dead, yeah. Okay. Can they get more? Probably Nat. Danny TP'd up here. You know what's funny? You don't think of Lissandra as a reset champion, but she kind of is. You can't really fight when she gets first the first kill, like, and you're all there. Oh, yeah, with that the shit does so much damage. That shit's so annoying. Is that really her passive? Like, she that's the, her whole passive is like creating the frozen corpse. Yeah, mm. it, it was the mana thing before, but what, what was yeah. the mana thing? She got a free spell. Like and every you, like ten seconds, or or what? It was or like every like eighteen seconds, but like it lowered it whenever you froze an enemy. Wait, she doesn't need an assist, really? Yeah, she has to be like within 3,000 range. 3,000? Is that a real number? I, that's last I checked. I can wiki that bitch real quick. They're like, they're at Baron, you're at Raptors, and you get a fucking ghost. That is pretty crazy, actually. That you don't even need an assist. That's yeah. true. Okay, oh. wiki says 1350, maybe 3,000 is fake news. <laughs> yeah, the 3,000 seems fake. It does seem high. I, uh -oh. I don't remember that number. Oh, Wait, fuck. Jojo Johnson's is getting that in? ass. Oh, my oh, God. Johnson! Let's go, EG. Uh-oh. Oh? Okay, dead. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, I... Uh, I Black was going to win this game, guys. Yeah, I, I actually feel like... They're calm. EG is at Yeah. Yeah. Such a big draft deficit on this one. They actually just don't have many options, like even just from early game, right? Like, what plays can they really make? They they were trying some stuff, but I don't know, man. Wait, Impact actually died like this? Yep. What the fuck? All right, Impact kind of trolling. Yeah, Impact Draw. He's not under his turret, dude. What, what can he do? What the hell? He just didn't give a fuck. He just walked in. Right into Twitch. Johnson kind of entered that after two. Yeah. It was just a chain of unforced errors. That was so weird. The rat with the cat. The rat with the cat. I like that. What is another animal bot lane you can play? Nasus, Renekton. No. Rengar? Rengar. But the, what's another Rengar animal? Yumi. Rengar Yumi. All the animals, they have great synergy. <laughs> Philip Vladimir. Who would have thought?
Yo, but I, I was saying it. Full W Max Sona is that real? That sounds awful. Mm, I don't it's know. I mean, I guess the most if, scaling. Like, at, I think at this point, pure team fight. Yeah, pure team fight is the best. I mean, I guess, but. Oh, they can't chase down fucking Yumi. That's a bummer. I mean, they I do don't get know. the monkey though. I'm gonna look it up. Like, I don't think it's an actual ability to max first. So the Q hits two people, and you get 30 damage a rank, and you increase the bonus damage that your teammates deal from 10 to 30 at, at you know, rank 1 to rank 5 on the Q. Uh, and then the W is 15 heal per rank and 20 shield strength per rank. So it goes from like 25 shield. That's actually so fucking low. 25 shield to 105 shield. I don't know. It sounds pretty awful. Oh, dead. Well, you just had a few more points in Q there. <laughs> no, he actually needed E for the move speed on that one. Common uh, misconception. You're right, you're right. I don't know, man. I'm just wondering how EG is going to win this game. Yeah. Vlad is their only pure physical damage champ. He's got like seven CS per minute this game. Vlad? He's full not going to crit. Or on not Vlad, EG. EG. <laughs> GP's doing the Korean build that Gomsu did that I flamed. Legendary Korean build. Yeah, he's actually tank Ooh. GP. How did he know? What the fuck? All you need to know is just because. Koreans do it does not automatically make it good, or I would be going IE second. <laughs> oh, Jose is dead oh as hell. Jose has actually just been inting this game. Yeah, he's kind of running it. Twitch had no ult there. That was pretty awkward. Yeah, yeah. or Ari actually. Like, well, hmm. Why, I wonder if the fact that that Vlad went Night Harvester instead of. Proto Belt is going to affect the game. Because, like, I think a lot of Vlad's scaling with Ghost is the fact that he can Proto Belt into the back line with Ghost and, like, get the engage off. But, like, if he doesn't have Flash or Proto Belt, I could see him just not getting in. Bye yeah. Bye-bye Impact. Bye-bye Impact. It is kind of weird. I mean, I the, so they buffed Night Harvester a patch or two ago. So it's, it's, like, a lot of CDR, but, yeah, I, I don't know how he's actually getting in. Yeah. I, I guess the idea with this comp is like, it's kind of Twitch Yumi, right? Like you just get him in a position where Twitch can fucking open and then you've got like Ari, Wukong, Vlad flying in while they try to either run or jump on Twitch. Yeah, it just feels so integral to Vlad's kit that he can like close the gap to mm -hmm. yeah to make make a good play happen. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, seems, it seems like this game might be both top laners are gonna be like low usefulness. Oh, they're giving Vulcan gold. What is it for for Moonstone? His first <laughs> item. It's what they need, dude. Danny is actually fucking rich. Danny's Three items at twenty-two. Huge. Yeah, he yeah, he's, he's been pretty ahead. <clears throat> it's it's kind of first strike, dude. First strike, you just get your items so fucking fast. Yeah. What how much Bring gold he's got on it? Bring back Klepto, man. If I had to guess he'd have like max six hundred gold right now. That hasn't been that much fighting. It's good, man. What about the Draven bug? Have you, have you seen it? When someone has treasure hunter or whatever the fuck it's called, bounty hunter. No, what, what is it? What's it's the bug? like if anyone has uh, that rune and Draven's in the game, all all collections of the bounties have the Draven passive sound. <laughs> oh, Wait, it's so what? troll. Yeah, like what? I I anyone in the game that surely that's been patched. Nope. I ha I had that bug. Uh, is that yeah? I wonder. Wait, why. so people are just getting like thousands of gold off no, bounty hunter the, or what? It's just the sound. Oh. Oh, the sound. So yes. Yeah. Oh, I oh. thought you meant like you they were getting the however many stacks Draven had. No, no, that would be insane. I'm like that seems pretty game breaking. 
Yeah, that that would be fixed instantly, but it's just the the audio plays like Draven got his passive off. Oh, okay. Dude, I did you guys see that gank top? Yep, impact died again. I saw that gank top. That's exactly what people hate about the design of the new champs. Oh, hold on, one sec. Jose's dead, and it's it, it might actually kill everyone here. Oh my god, bye bye. so much, so much back and forth like overextension versus impacts, and then it's fucking three that's people on fly Baron. quest. That's Baron. Yeah, that's Baron. I think Johnson should not go for the hero play. Just go drag. Yep. The hero. I Honestly, he could have gone for the hero play. Spot. I, no, he, he can't do anything without Yumi. If Yumi's there, for sure he can. Uh oh. Uh, you're right. He'll get exhausted and shit. Uh oh. <gasps> okay. You thought it was a steal? I couldn't see, so I don't know. It could have. <laughs> Maybe I just hate Soraka and I just refuse it. There's anything good about her. Wait, you hate playing with Soraka? She's so OP. I fucking hate what? Soraka. What the fuck? Like, you nothing, feels, Soraka? nothing feels good playing with her. It's just like, what the fuck do I pick? Like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> you pick any early game champ because Soraka's gonna hard carry late. <laughs> oh, yeah? You don't, you don't pick, like, fucking Jinx. You play, like, I don't know, fucking, like, Lucian or Kaiser or some shit and just... Lucian, Soraka, the powerhouse lane. That's... Uh, it doesn't matter, because Soraka was, like, 1v5 later in the game. Yeah, she, she, so she is really annoying. I feel like if you play something with CC, like, if she can follow up a CC oh, with Jin. her fucking silence, it's actually so insane. Yeah, no, no, joke. like, Jin Soraka is good. But it's, like... She doesn't set up it for you at all. Jin like wants help, so it feels awful. That's what I'm saying. I like, mean, no, if, if your Soraka low. hits zero Qs the whole lane, then you can open. But like, if she's hitting Qs, then lane is so easy. And like, that thing's oh. fucking hard to hit, man. Soraka Q. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh my god. I, I think it depends wait, the range. That was so fucking. What? That Yumi alt was real sus. Oh wow, wait, Twitch died. Twitch is dead somehow. Wait, what's happening? They're winning. Uh, EG is winning. Yeah, yeah EG loss. wins. GG. Hard as hell. GG! Somehow won. Fly Lizard? I feel like Fly should have won this from the position they were in, but, you know. Sooks. Better team, I guess. Impact won with everyone's most hated gangplank build. The fucking Bruiser tank flank. <laughs> Although, I... I don't know. Oh, they're not I'm gonna pretty go sure in a here. game like this, man, like, you don't actually have anyone who can just tank this other team's fucking massive burst like I, I think it's fine you don't always have to be a carry in every champ sometimes then you why, just, you then know why, why, why play gp i don't know there's got to be better champs that build these same items and do more with them but i don't know maybe i'm Maybe the team bomb just, just ended up like this, and you're like, you just gotta make do with what you got. Yeah. What are they doing with this Baron? I think <laughs> they're the trying fuck? to. I think they're trying to delay it as much as possible so okay. that they have the e maximum Max amount of time to siege. Second Sona, I, Vulcan is actually griefing. But whatever. That way he's winning. I what? think it has. I mean, you don't, you don't max Q winning. second after W. I don't think he maxed W first. I think he maxed Q first. It's not close. It's actually not close. Dude, Johnson exploded. That was just an Ezreal ult, Gangplank ult, Sona damage. He just fucking blew up. The scaling on the Emax is so bad. It's 1% move it? speed and rank. That's it. That's all you get. It goes from really? 10, 10 to 14. That does sound That does bad. seem terrible. It's Let's so talk. bad. Wait, Johnson just pressed R. That? Oh! Yeah, that seems real troll. It, it, oh. oh! Oh, wow! Look at the soda mechanics. Dude, look how fast they are, bro. Show some respect. But th think about the Q. Okay, the Q does 80 oh, Johnson, damage. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sona Q does 80 damage rank 1 if you hit two champs, and it does... 320 damage, rank 5, if you had two chance. you get on League. Join my custom game. Okay. Holy shit, man. 80 versus 320. What do you think's better? 
also increasing the damage that your teammates deal from 10 to 30. So max 50 bonus damage versus max 150 bonus damage. It's legit Perfect. the most not close thing I've ever seen. Uh, Sneaky, do you play Sona? Uh, Vulcan yep. is a professional player. Uh, I think me and Doublelift are actually better Sonas than Vulcan. Oh. Whoa. We are Sona Double masters. getting I'm pulled into this shit. one. We, we Tag actually teamed have in by more on my fight, man. We have more competitive experience playing Sona than this guy does. All right, double lift and sneaky on one let keyboard go mouse against of Vulcan Legends Sona on one v one. Hold on, hold Do on. It. Let's just let's just see how good this double lift guy really is at Sona. I mean, he can't possibly be that good. Holy shit, he's seven and one. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I'm better. Exactly. But I'm like better at every champ than Vulcan. It's like, it's not fair to really compare. Yeah, it's, oh. it's Jesus, another Twitch Yumi. Ooh. But this time Karma's open. Last time FlyQuest banned Karma, assuming that Ezreal Karma is like the fucking bot duo to play. I could see. I could also see Sona being better than Karma because Sona seemed pretty strong last 11. game. A lot of healing. Yay, Enchanters! Yay, this does seem like a weird thing to do when you have like C9 still using their sub bot lane. Perfect. I'm so sick of seeing C9's bot lane play the like weak side mat, like weaker matchup. Like these guys need to fucking grow a pair and like play some shit with pressure. Senna Tom Kench, so defensive. Honestly, it can be really aggressive, but they were just they were just not. And then the next game they play Jinx Lulu. Just trying their best to scale, but actually just totally Brazilian? useless. Oh my Jensen, god. No. Brazilian that that the troll hover because he's against Bjergsen. You wouldn't pick that in the LeBlanc. <clears throat> Dude, I had the funniest interaction yesterday and I I I, I, I got a game with uh, Blabber and Jensen on my team in Champions Q. And I'm, I, they were like sweating about bot lane picks and I was like, it's okay guys, you don't have to play with King anymore. <laughs> and then they both <laughs> laughed. And then, and then they both laughed for a while and then Blabber's like, oh, but that wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Jensen's like, yeah, I don't even know why we laughed. That's so not funny. Just ban us CO's Clist days, one trick. Guys, you need to relax. You're not playing with King anymore. We can win. <laughs> we can play through bot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that actually wasn't funny. It wasn't that funny. It was not funny. It literally was not funny. That literally was not funny. Yeah, bad Callista. I was pity laughing. You no, can, then, you can they... open Callista. You can open Callista. Oh, this is a good drop. Trust me. Trust me. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mic stopped working, Blubber. Yeah, you, you broke it. Yeah, I felt fuck fucking bad. <laughs> I felt fucking bad. Oh, they have to say that because you're streaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they had that. I they felt were forced bad, to. Man. The laugh was genuine. The that wasn't funny was PR. 100%. <laughs> Dude. You caught him slipping. I did. I did. That was a test. That was a test. My mistake, guys. Blabber on the Volibear. Voli, I actually think is not that bad into Wukong. I still think Wukong's better, but Voli's decent. Hmm. It's I, very I think I like Twitch. Comp better. I don't know. C9 has this like they're actually playing Giga scaling with the Volibear. How come Bjergsen needs to crush on these uh, Bard W's level one to win his lane? Is that like? Is it because wow, he's? Such so scared of thought. Jensen? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's a really good point. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about all the coffees. Wait, what the oh, fuck? Oh, they're coffees. That coffee oh, looks that sick. Is so... that, that was fucking... Dude, do it the again. Hell? Do it again. I've never even seen that on that skin. What is was, that skin, man? It was, it's the Cafe Cutie. Damn, that is a fucking cute skin. <laughs> Whippo Wait, only so plays Juggernaut champs, by the way. Like he only play, like, he just plays like tanky ass motherfuckers that go ghost. That's his thing. <laughs> I will not play Flash this whole split. I need to be yeah. edgy. <laughs> I, I I like it. You know, I think 
what he does makes total sense based on the patch. Like, healing and shielding is out of fucking control. So playing champs with a lot of self-sustain, Mord's not as, like, healy, but he kind of fits the style. Sustain. Sustain. I think Swain Sus is actually low-key broken. Straight mm -hmm. up. Like, yep. I, I, I think Swain is so overtuned. Whoa! Oh my god. Yo, oh emo, my. Jensen, yes! Yes! Yeah! Oh, wow. Looks like it was a positive picture of Bjergsen. He just somehow managed to heal like 200. <laughs> oh my god. From so what? Good. What the hell? Chain just fucking dies. I, I think Ash is bad right now, though. You do the I play. Build, I played Ash Kraken. against Kalista, and it was actually so. Oh, you do Bort Kraken. I did. I did Shield Bow PD, and it felt fucking good. Yeah, PD is actually super synergistic on Ash. Oh, oh. Wow, that's oh. unfortunate. Good, good, good job, get Destiny. Get him, get him. Very impressive. That's like legit. The one thing he needed to not do there. He could have done anything besides that. The one thing a Yumi can fuck up. Yeah, Destiny, you fucking asshole. Why did you just stand there and not press any buttons at all? I okay. mean, it would have been better than what he did. Oh, wait, he flashes off tower. Oh, my he's just God. Dead. The GP no, he's alive. No, he's alive. He's fine. Oh, he's too fast. Oh, no, they're all dead now. No one has flash and Blabber wait. Jensen are coming. Why did that GPO look like he ulted Twitch? What the fuck? Hold up. Holy shit, Blabber? He's chilling, bro. I eat, I eat. Oh, oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Dude, that GPO was like actually trying to kill Twitch. Yeah, but it was actually trying to peel him, so I, I yeah. think it's fine. Oh, wait. I, I actually didn't realize that was his team's yeah, GP when I said he was yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you initially think fuck? he's he's getting GPO to Twitch is dead, and then you're like, wait, he lives, and then. Yep, it was appealing. That was so weird. I need to see that again. Yeah. Oh, they're showing it. Like, was that actually a well-placed GP ult? Maybe. Wow, they blew heal and barrier because of that. God damn it, Destiny. Yep. It was there's no, it was there's no way they get dove here if they don't fucking control that. Oh my god, that slow I mean, is like, so nasty. It kind of worked. It was just so perfectly on Twitch. Yeah. No, hey, it, I mean, it was it, a good it, ult. It definitely that worked. It was a good ult. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It just felt weird. Yeah. Maybe that's, it's... that's really pure depression because they didn't calculate GPLT slowing them on the chase, and that just actually got them killed, and then it ended up being good. Two for one. Yeah, maybe it's just because there's not really, ends up like... killing two at the end team color associations to like gp ult mm. like it's not really branded fucking red side it's just gp ult like because you know they can't be t two gps so it doesn't matter yeah it'll only be if there's a silas in the game you'd need it that's true well there can be two gps you just don't play the right game mode ah that's Noob. true that's true in Valorant, unranked is like actually the players aim better than immortal players. Like they're so crazy. Un Maybe unrated in, in Valorant might as well be like fucking uh, grandmasters in in league, like equivalent. It's just, shit is unbelievable. <laughs> I I only play unrated in Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I think if you play unrated and you have a positive win right there, like you you might actually be like legit a diamond plus player in Valorant. I only do it because, like, I'm not confident in myself enough to play rank, and I don't want to, like, fuck my rank. Uh, I see, I see. You're really just there to buy buy the skins. You don't care about your rank? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just there to Ooh. chill right games. Oh, my God. Wait. Or just got, got fucking fucked. Fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, it's, maybe it was better to pick Sona. Sona, Sona, Sona. You know, Sona wouldn't have portaled his team in to die under turret. <laughs> True. Core wait. ulted really late. Wait, Hans, no flash. He's dead. He's got a coffee, don't worry. Now he can't die to poison. Oh! Got wait, him. You're, you're right, he's fine. He he's actually just chilling, huffed, bro. He huffed the coffee and he was totally good. <laughs> Took a sip. <laughs> 
a lot I, harder. I've had the best results with like Divine Sunder or Rangar. Apparently, that's what Dardoch does. Feels really? okay. <laughs> Feels I've never okay. really been a Rangar player. <laughs> I I've I've seen mostly the the, the like Gore Drinker tank Rangar build, like Gore Drinker Death Stance, where you're just like unkillable, but like you don't yeah. do that much damage. Sunder is like similar, but I think you do more damage. Hmm. That, that Yumi all waste went on both. real wide. And Twitch ult was wasted. I feel like this game for Hans, like, I think you should just nut it up and, and build the fucking... The fucking pure damage builds, but that's just me. Hmm. Like, Danny, Danny did it last game. Obviously, he had Sona and not Bard, but, like, it's not that different. What uh rune is Danny or sorry, Hans? Conqueror. Been as every game. Is it Conqueror? Let's see in a sec. Some go Conqueror, some go. Oh, sorry, it's PTA. PTA. Well, I guessed wrong. Guessed one of three. Nice try. Has there ever been an Ezra build that like? So, okay, so you build crit, but then you get a Gwinsu. To like turn it into on hit, has that ever been a consideration, or is that just shit? I, I don't think I've, anyone's ever done that. Because Ginsu only gives attack, attack speed. speed. Yeah, it's like twenty six hundred gold. You get the auto damage, but like the and actual. What if you just get the knife? I mean, you're not double proccing anything either. Besides, yeah. well, all right. What if you just shit. get the knife to turn the crit into on hit? I don't gold. know. I tried uh, for a while. I tried Essence Reaver Shield Bow Ezreal, and I thought it was kind of cool because you got forty percent crit. It's like, whoa, maybe I just go IE now, but it didn't. It didn't really feel that great. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can yeah. totally fucking make the Q just have crit scaling, and then you fix all of his builds. But I yeah. mean, I don't, I don't mind him working this way either. It just feels like it's Ezreal's really hard for him funny, to be man. balanced, and he, like, just abuses other roles items. I think that's the biggest thing for me that I don't like about it is, like... Yeah, that's true. I really? feel like AD I... carry should just build their items. No way, dude. I, I like that there's AD carries that just build totally separate items. Like that's I mean, makes... when you're the one playing it, I could see why you'd like it. Yeah, it's, I, I don't it's really good play diversity. Ezreal that much. I like the diversity. Like, it's like, you can build... On Ezreal, you can build, like, Crown... Divine Sunder, Trinity Force. You can build no mythic item. Or you can do Dustblade, Eclipse, Prowler's Claw. Like he's he's got so much diversity, which is like but I don't think he's overpowered. I, I don't I don't I don't think Ezreal is overtuned at all. He's like in an okay spot. I don't know. I mean just I historically, like I think it's kinda of whack that he just like almost consistently builds tank items while also being this like super long range carry that has yeah. a fucking I, I flash think on like a items, two second cooldown. I think that's abusive and dumb. Yeah. I, I don't think they should be able to build tank and output shitloads of damage. Because you're a fucking range carry, right? Oh. <laughs> Tickle. I, th I think if every 80 carry just built fucking Gale Force Collector or Kraken PDIE, it's like... It doesn't feel great. Yeah, you get bored. Yeah. Let me go bathroom real quick. I, what, what, what a diverse like set of items bot lane looks like for me is like... Then the items are balanced, you know? There's not like one... There's not like one pair of items that is so good you have to build it and like that warps whatever champs are good. I feel like these days you see like there's this Pork Rush stuff. There's some Gale Force Collector, there's some... There's some Kraken Slayer, there's some PDIE. Or what's it called? What was I saying? Kraken PDIE. Yeah. I don't know, Jungle seems really fucked though. <laughs> jungle seems like you I build... Mean, it's, it's been fucked forever. <laughs> jungle seems like you build the same three mythic items every single game and... And that's your life. Because, I mean, the the thing that I feel like Riot fucks up in jungle is just, like, they don't really understand what the role does. And it's always kind of been, like, you need to be able to check the boxes as a jungler, right? Unless you're, like, super broken, you're, like, maybe Karthus for a patch when he just is way too busted. But, like, you need to have some kind of, like, early gang pressure. You need to be able to duel. You need to be able to clear. You need to be able to scale without actually getting money. 
past a certain point because you just don't have that option. Like, you pretty much have to front line. You can't be so squishy that they can just engage and one-shot you all the time. And so, like, all those criteria has pretty much been, like, the parameters for what junglers are viable, like, since ever. And then... Oh? Blabber oh, just goes fuck. in, but Blabber, he's that was so fucking suicidal. Oh, C9's losing hard. Yeah, that was a really forced they, engage. I didn't they, like that they at lost all. That, they lost that fight 4v5. Whippo only showed up at the last second. So I understand why he did what he did, because TL's, TL's split off. One mid, four there. But they actually... The engage was so scuffed that they lost a straight 4v5. Yeah. Not normal. I don't know. What did Blabber even see that he was going for? Like, that actually just looked like a fucking sprint. Uh, let's see what he saw. I mean, I what, what I saw was what he saw, where it's like they have a 5v1, 5v4 situation here. So he goes in pretty low HP. He sees Hans. There's just not really great follow-up on Hans. And then they change their focus to Santorin, who gets out 1 HP. Yeah. I think at that point, that's kind of on Twitch and Yumi to focus the right person. And they, like, Hans should die there. I don't know if the fight changes too much if Hans dies, but... Why is King hitting Wukong? Like, Ezreal's the one who got flash done and has no E, no flash. Yeah. Still, though, losing. Absolutely, it seems. Yeah, I, I think it was just forced. Like, I, I don't know. I think positionally, C9 had a much worse spot, right? Like, they had to walk into him. And you're yeah. walking into uh, essentially a kite comp, like LeBlanc, Ezreal, Bard. They yeah, play to kite sure. you. They're taking so much damage on the way in. I think if I'm C9 in that spot, I'm just like, all right, like, I don't think we're actually getting in here. Let's just, like, fucking go topside, do something, give him drag, get some farm, whatever. Yeah. A little bit too ambitious. I'm back. Welcome back. I, I think that's, like, one, one really old call that people made whenever they just got tilted and, like, actually didn't. Like, it, it, it's just, like, a default call that you make in comms, but, like, doesn't help really anything. It's just, oh, we just need to go first. And, like, whenever that happens... Oh, oh shit. Oh, Blabber! Oh, Blabber is so dead, and, and Jensen just fucked up there. He totally shouldn't have gotten hit by that. What the fuck? I actually Jensen? am not a huge oh. fan of the rune setup Blabber's running secondaries at least he's inspiration to like stopwatch and i assume cosmic oh my oh, god oh, i feel like you're kind of getting celerity on. nimbus on volley you're nimbus just too hook. slow i see i see like people have been just doing q max fully now instead of w i think that's stronger on volley q max yeah i think you do full q max with celerity nimbus cloak blabber did full w max with inspiration mm. which I, i'm not saying that's like the biggest factor in this game but i i don't love it you don't like that shit. nope when when king auto attacks the closest target I, I i they're not gonna replay this game but he actually just stands still like, I, I'm not even joking, like, he, he right-clicked Whippo there, and he took his hands off of the mouse. But he's he supposed to space up. glide? <laughs> Where the like, fuck is the space gliding? Uh, dude, I'm not expecting, like, I'm not I expecting, was... like, fucking Uzi-level mechanical skill between autos, but I'm expecting at least the guy to look more than a corpse when he's auto-attacking someone. I was seeing it's so fucking behind. Yeah, they are fucked. <laughs> like Jensen has a mirror mana, a hex shrinker, twenty-two flashing wand. That's a lot. That's it. Like one fucking item and some turds. Ketchup and two. ketchup is the goaded condiment, and mustard That's second, true. and mayonnaise is gross. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, sorry. Whoa, 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 I just whoa, whoa. I'm a mayonnaise hater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? Sorry, man. Yeah, I, I don't like mayonnaise. Dude, I went to Belgium. No, I went to Netherlands. 
And I went to this famous fry restaurant. And the classic... Like, if you get, like, the generic thing there, they give you a bucket of fries, basically. And mayonnaise to dip it in. A bucket oh. of mayonnaise? Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, like a Like a container of mayonnaise to dip the fries in. And I... I actually, like, felt nauseous. Dude, actually... It. My, my favorite thing for sandwiches, like, I, I just grew up with this. Like, my mom always put it on my sandwiches. But it's, it's like, a kind of mayo called Miracle Whip, which isn't exactly the oh, same as mayo. Oh, it's sour. It's sour. Bro, I've I had I love that. it. It's so good. It's the it's best strangely, shit. Uh, it's, like, strangely to me better than mayonnaise, but it is weird. <laughs> I fucking love it. My parents were, like, extreme frugal shoppers. So one day... um. There was like a sale on Miracle Whip where it was like with coupons and store discount, it was like 25 cents per bottle. So we just, our parents came home one day with like 30 bottles of Miracle Whip and that's oh like God. all we put our on our food for like that. Year. 30 bottles of Miracle Whip? You just had fucking Miracle Whip sandwiches with a glass of Miracle Whip on the side? Forever. Holy I mean, shit, Jensen's on getting blasted. This is so sad, man. Sedge. I, I actually, I've been in this situation as Blower so many times where you're like the the behind only front line on your team with a Yumi, so you have no vision, you have to try to get vision. Your game consists of walking into their vision, getting fucked, ulting out, and that's it. Like, yep. there's, there's really nothing for him to do, just get shit on. Yup. Fucking dude. TL has to just mess up. But it's kind of hard for them to mess up. There's not a lot of things they can do wrong. Unless they let Bully seal Baron with an E. Oh my god, he's dead! United oh is basically goodness. just a team from fucking Os with Jensen and Blabber right now. Like, every time I go to Germany, I'm just like, dude, I mm. can't fucking wait to eat currywurst with fries. And it's like, what even is German food? I don't know and I don't <laughs> care. I Too just down. want more curry sausages. <laughs> yeah. I know, Germany's not really like, known for their cuisine, are they? All right, and you've been canceled on seven platforms. <laughs> The European bros hate you now. Thanks a lot, dude. Euro bros. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I don't think people go to Germany because they're like, oh, their food's so good. Yeah, they well, they, people go there for the beer, but yeah, I don't think the food that much. That was a fucking smash. No, no, that was League. Huh? Oh. Yeah, it's Wait, yeah smash. this is League of Legends, huh? My bad. B nine O three. Unlucky. Yeah. I mean, they did have a hard lineup, EG, TL, and the super team of Golden Guardians. <laughs> Good one, Lol W. Epo Clown 9. Once again, in shambles. Always having roster slash visa problems every fucking year. <laughs> yep. It actually sucks so hard to have this kind of shit happen. Like, you... you even if with their roster they're like a solid team, they have this like fucking stain on their record. That's pretty relevant, like just three straight L's. This shit stain. Um wait, what what was your original question? So what was your stance on gambling before? Because I feel like you changed your stance. I don't what was my take on it? I don't my, remember my you take saying on that it. you would giga sell out. But now you are. Yes. You, 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 oh, I said before that I would never sell out? No, I don't remember what you said. I don't remember what you I said. Mean, I mean, I, I think that it's, like, really morally reprehensible, but um, I do think that, you know, everyone has, like, some number. Maybe Okay, actually, I shouldn't say everybody, because that's not true. Some people are a lot more But, like, is that even a real than conversation, me? though? Like, about the everyone has a number thing? Is that even, like, a real conversation? I, I feel like people say that stuff, but, like, it doesn't actually have any meaning behind it no there is no meaning behind it there, right? there, that's most true most people aren't even going to get a number offered to them 
But yeah. I, I think it comes back to like, you know, how much are people who stream or content create like really responsible for like how much influence they have on the people watching them, right? Because like, I, I think that like the people who are like, you know, super fucking toxic streamers who just like uh, soil their, their whole fucking ecosystem by just like promoting the shittiest behavior. I think that's like probably worse than promoting gambling. Because, but it's like, you know, are they responsible for like, are you supposed to set a good example for your viewers? Like, are you streaming because you're trying to make the world a better place? Because like you want to encourage people to do the right thing i don't know like probably not you mean like Dude, there, there is no behavior. there is no justifying the fact that you are taking money from a site that is built on the losses of its users you're, oh, you're yeah, I mean... you are directly losing the fans who participate in this website the house always wins it is literally coded so the house always wins and the amount of money that you're making whether it's two or $20 million per fucking month, that money comes directly out of your viewers' pockets. Otherwise, the site is not going to sponsor you. They know the logistics behind that sponsorship. And gambling is gonna, literally a life-ruining addiction. But here, here's, here's my thing is it's like, why are you responsible for like your viewers' well-being in the sense that like, isn't state going to be paying that money to somebody, right? Like they're making money from some people gambling, right? Like why is it just like your viewers that you have so much responsibility for right because they because your viewers made you who you are like xqc doesn't have a job if he doesn't have the loyal fans who watch him every day and comment on his videos and allow him to take a sponsor to begin with so you're really fucking over the hand that feeds you and yeah he i think i think like that's where people come in is like oh well like is he responsible for the decisions that his viewer makes well he is when a lot of them are really young and they are really young like between the age of like 12 and like fucking 20 your brain is still developing to be a fully functioning adult like you don't actually control like you don't have the brain power to make like smart informed responsible decisions but xqc does he knows exactly what he's doing people who are young and impressionable look up to him and do what he does and they're going to be influenced by his streams like i think that's what people have an issue with like morally i think it's really bad and I think, I think like, it also comes in the fact that he was a hypocrite about it and, like, calling people out for taking gambling sponsorships before, the, like, and then now that the, the offer's in front of him, he just takes it instantly. But didn't you just say you would take it? He... Yes. I yeah, would. I mean, like, he's... <laughs> I would, but I would not justify to my fans. I would not just, I would not be like, oh, no, guys, like, trust me, I'm not a hypocrite. Like, I, would, I know that I'm being a hypocrite. Like, I know that it's totally fucked up. I think the fact that he's, like, trying to justify it, like, every which way is, like, also, it's people rubbing people the wrong way. If he just says, yo, the guys, the deal is totally insane. Like, I couldn't say no. I'm so happy with this partnership with Stake. And, you know, it is what it is. Then I, I think, like, people would get a lot less backlash yeah, for I, it. I, I mean, my, my whole point is that I think, like, finding the line for that kind of thing is, like, quite a big gray area. Because, like, I think there are streamers who, like, influence their viewers really negatively, even in ways that's, like, not just, you know, financially. Because I don't think, like... What percent of XQC's viewers do you think are, like, going into financial ruin because of his stake sponsorship? Does it matter? Like, I don't if think it's, it's. I don't think it's it a matter if high it's, percent. If it's one or if it's a hundred. I I think <laughs> it it matters. Yeah, like I think the percentage of people that he's like negatively affecting. But like, say you're just a streamer who like is super fucking toxic, and you, like spread that to all of your fan base and now your fan base just becomes extremely fucking toxic too and they like ruin their own relationships and people around them and the the game that they play their whole community like is that not just as bad like why is the line drawn at just gambling i don't is there really this much influence for many of these things i definitely think there's not i don't know i mean that that's the question right yeah i, I feel like there's not i mean like it's <laughs> i feel like it's as dumb as trying to relate fucking like violence in video games to fucking shootings like they're not necessarily correlated like yeah there is a thing like that but it doesn't actually create the problem like yeah. sure it's bringing more light to gambling by gambling on stream but it doesn't necessarily create people to be addicted by itself i think there's like you could have just as much negative influence on someone. Like if Riot makes a feature about a pro player who dropped out of high school to go pro and then they made it, right? Is yeah. that not like similar to gambling, right? Like it's encouraging people 
influencing them to like want to drop out of high school and the amount of people who drop out of high school to become pro gamers and make it is way fucking lower than the amount who drop out of high school I'm and done, just proceed I'm to ruin done. their entire life nobody is yeah no person no sane person has ever encouraged their fans to drop out of high school no but my no, point is like they're, they're in the riot pieces that talk about people it doing it and stuff it's like they they highlight I don't it think it's, that that's it's still gonna I don't have think that influence. that's a highlight of and, and 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 there's and there's a lot of there's a lot of differences between talking objectively about a story that happened like Bill Gates dropping out of high dropping out of college to to start Microsoft and and directly getting your viewers to sign up for like a fucking a, a gambling account on stake I I do think that there's no, uh, look. If ex in the same in the same example that you're talking about, if if somebody is directly telling everyone uh, and all of their fans, somebody as big and influential as like Aswin Gold, to tell their fans to drop out of school, and pursue some sort of like boneheaded thing, like yo, you'll make it big, do this. That person would also be getting shit on. Like that's th that's an, that's definitely also a terrible fucking thing to tell people to do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, they just locked Sivir. Holy shit. Oh, that's cringe. Did they hear their rework's not out yet? <laughs> this champ's pretty fucking terrible. Good versus Ez. But like, I think it's good versus Ez. Like, traditionally, sure, but I don't think current state of Sivir is good versus Ez. I mean, I don't fucking know, man. Maybe Luger's onto some shit. I feel like Luger tries so hard to be edgy, uh, but he's really good. He's actually good. He's like the only dude playing Seraphine. Only dude playing Sivir. But he actually hasn't played anything meta yet. Well, I guess Senna. He played Seraphine, Sivir, Senna. and Senna. He just wants he to says, avoid the meta as much as possible. I will not play a meta AD carry. You know, I'm actually thinking about it again. You're right. Sivir's not a champ. I I'm just looking at how is Sivir going to do anything this game? And the answer is she's not. She, she actually she can't do damage. She does no fucking damage. Like, she, she does so no damage. Sad. And she's so easy to kill. Like, I, I, I could totally see a world where, like, she's, like, pumping fucking auto attacks in the closest target. And she just gets three shot. Because she's 500 range. I, I don't think Sivir's real. Even though... For fucking 10 years straight, Sivir's so. been good against Ezreal. This yeah. is just not... Did you know the change I was thinking of? It's like... Time. Uh, you should be able to... Like, you know how every time you throw your Q, it always goes max range? You should be able to, like, yes. adjust the range. So, like, someone close to you, you could not instantly pull back. Like, there'd be some minimum. But, like, pull back way fucking closer. Oh, I see what you're saying. You have, like, fucking full control. Yeah. yeah, that could be cool. I I don't know. That not she just like super dated? I feel like they would have to give more to her kit. Like, I, I would want them to add something cool. Like, what if her W like if she spell right shields now. something? Like, y you get more damage on your next like however many like autos or spells or some shit. Just to, like add that's, some more cool part of her kit. That's literally what I was thinking as well before about how they, that's definitely what they're gonna do when they rework her. Like, they'll I, keep I think the that'd spell be awesome. shield. Like, like, I think it'd be fun to play and play against, because then, like, it, it incentivizes you to use your spell shield more aggressively, too, right? And then there's, like, mind games. It's like you people try to, like, bait out your spell shield. Like, you know, you shoot an Ezreal Q right next to her rather that than aiming at her. Already happens because people don't want to give her mana. But yeah, yeah just, but, like, I think you could, played. you could sweeten the deal a little bit. Like, mana refund nowadays doesn't seem, like, that valuable. No. No, but back in the day, having infinite mana was, like, literally unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh my god, so broken. Sivir cannot go out of mana. And now, like, lucky, every man. champ, like, Zeri just comes out fully kitted with infinite mana. Yep. I think we just a good Why does uh, Sivir not have potions? Harvest no pot. He started with a pink. Uh, I don't know. I've mean, uh, been playing really well on the other units, so I wouldn't even say watch out for one player. Just watch out for the team cohesiveness. Eh, Wait, Sivir started the game. the game with a pink? Yeah, you see and it. And no potions. <laughs> it's uh. in river right now. <laughs> What's up? I mean, I guess Strange. you got Sona sustained, so it's... 
Probably I not too punishable. Don't think it's real. Oh, it's definitely punishable. But like with TP, it, it you know it has a less of a way less of a window. It's just that six A you know six A should know. Oh, the hard. He has three potions, and Luger has zero. Like they just that seems on. like a no brainer and a to fucking tear siver. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like a no brainer that you should just trade autos with your Yumi there. Yeah. Like even if you take 200 damage, and you and you just get like two autos in, it's it's gonna be winning. Oh, the spell shield, infinite mana. Oh. If you had to put your all your channel points on this game, who's gonna win? Who would you bet for? Meteos and double lift. Uh, all the channel points. Oh. Oh, very nice. A Blaze Olive is not just good at this on Victor. He's also able to do this on his ear. <laughs> Dude. It's actually like from draft alone. I think I like Golden Guardians draft better. But CLGs look pretty hot so far. Like they've they've had good early games, like they're just skirmishing well. He's going CLG. I'll say CLG, fuck it. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I'll say Golden Guardians based on Sivir sucking balls. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, they have I Sivir. think draft Golden Guardians better, but team play CLG is better. Yeah. So I think Golden Guardians will win. I'll go GG as well. Draft oh. more important than team play. I don't think CLG is that much better team play. Yeah. They're not like a top tier team level. I think it's totally insane that Luger got away with this. <laughs> the like no it's bots. totally, it's totally fucking crazy. He he's getting away with no potions and tier. How disrespectful is it? He basically walked into lane with zero items yeah. altogether. <laughs> not a single point of combat stats or. He does regen. get last hit help from tier, I guess, right? Yes, but like fighting champions is literally zero stats and, and 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 like how the fuck is is the lane going like this? I mean, oh. it's actually going really. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's, he's dead. been punished. He's been Luger, punished. full trolling. Oh, into a call. Let's go <laughs> into a call. I'm gonna change my bet. <laughs> I'm going Golden Guardians. This one. Simmer, yeah. tier start, first buy, call. Oh my god, I'm gonna puke. I'm glad he's punished for that. Like that That's just a bad look for LCS if someone's getting away with this shit against any team. He would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids and the fact that he didn't base and TP back when <laughs> Boom went. Like he actually yep. just got so cocky there. Yep. Oh my god, these are just landing. <laughs> Wait, no flash. Oh, these Qs are wild. What a fucking bot lane matchup, dude. How did we go from melee supports and like Kaisa fucking Zion stuff to <laughs> Sivir Sona versus Ezreal Yumi? <laughs> Sivir Sona is like actually like fucking 20 years old. 10 year throwback. Yeah. I actually really like doing that shit with the. Uh... God, what is an AD, the AD carry that has the... Oh? <laughs> oh, I like doing that with Jinx, what I just realized. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was so <laughs> weird. Yeah, he just didn't quite get behind his ear for the melee cue, so they just all miss. Yeah, I'm just looking at him weird. Wait, oh. what? Is it winning? Oh, oh yeah. it is. Oh, wow, it's, it's not even close. Oh wow, it wasn't even uh -oh. close, holy fuck. Oh! Didn't even get a heal from Sona. Yeah, he's saving it for himself. He does need it. Don't Surely. use it now. Don't he's use it now. He's dead as fuck. Oh my god, this is a great oh, GG. Yeah. That's just a fucking game over. Huh. Right after the coach interview, yeah, teams are just scared of stepping outside their comfort zones. <laughs> We're the only ones brave enough to play fucking griefing Sivir. <laughs> <laughs>
We're so comfortable with this feeding bot yeah, pig. It, it actually was going fine for them. Oh, until yeah. Until it wasn't. It was yeah, going dude, fine first, with the first three no minutes pod. of the game was completely awesome. <laughs> if the game ended there, it would have been a rank one parse. <laughs> Wait, they even cleared the pink that he put down on Lucky. No. Just gave them golden XP. What if CLG still ends up winning this game after all the shit we've talked on server? I would be <laughs> really surprised because <laughs> nothing is going for them. Like, I think Dokla doesn't want to be totally dead even with a Fiora playing Jace, oh. the lane bully. Mm -hmm. I so think team comp wise, CLG has a similar comp that they played yesterday, just like this full poke kite comp. Mm -hmm. And I said yesterday that comp's not very good, and I still kind of stand by that. So. Oh no, Palafox the creeps. He's sticking to his guns. Yeah. Why is Viego's um hands glowing? Sheen. Oh. Oh, but it's like it's purple because of the skin. Uh, does he have Sunder complete? I'm not, I'm not sure. Wait, I'm just confused. His hands are still glowing. Oh, he had Harold. I'm blind. When did that happen? How come no one fucking said anything about contracts getting Harold? Are you guys even paying attention? Because I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that's our bad. Sorry. Sorry, didn't inform you that Harold was dead, Mr. Lift. You guys knew? Ooh, yo, uh, double lift. Jace, Viego, Talia recalling right now. <clears throat> oh, okay, thanks, dude. Uh, bot lane's mm -hmm. backing up, double lift. Bot lane gets one plate. It should be safe here. Dixay is actually causing Vega V2 to scream and shit himself. Trinity 5! Trinity 4! <laughs> no, you can't build Trinity, no! <laughs> That's the dreamer's better! <laughs> Damn, Vagar's voice is a lot different than I expected. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't care so much about Essence versus Trinity, which one's better. It's just more about the the arguments presented for both. Because sure, maybe Nerd. Essence is better. Nerd. And I agree, Cerildas is insane. But those are obvious points. I need I need to focus, but it's it's too hard. I need to get a. I need, I need to go take a piss and get a drink, man. I can't focus. I'm Do actually, it. I'm actually like. Go, go, go. I, feel, I feel high. Like I feel it's too much. Get the drink wow. now. Doing drugs before the co-stream again. Irresponsible. Influencing your viewers to do drugs. Yep. Can't believe this. This is fucked up. He didn't even say hashtag ad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Is that turret health bar fucking gigantic? That's not a normal sized turret health bar. Whenever they zoom out, it makes the health bars bigger. It's so big. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. Shona over the wall. Oh, oh god. No. Surely an auto would have got that. <clears throat> no, I think flash Q miss is better. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can flash auto and kill him. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to do that. Oh, Pride Stalker ulting for the move speed. Oh, that Emax coming in big, and Sona's gone, and Battle Fox about to be gone too. I think I'm ahead of you. Oh, what are you I'll, at? I'll, I'll tell you when he dies. Now. Fucking spoilers, man. I <laughs> got you, bitch. All right, uh, I'm speeding up. 54, 5, 6. All right, we're good. 7. I'm getting pretty hungry. Do you happen to have any penis nearby? I actually just little... ordered some penis. Oh. Grubhub, $7 off. Nice. Hashtag ad. I hope I get to play with Doublelift and Sneaky. <laughs> uh, what about Medios? Let's go into a custom test. <laughs> <laughs> so does is Jason and Chanter? Um, well, he, he does, does give his, his team move speed. Oh, oh Sivir goes down wow. again, even with the coal pop. This is unbelievable. Ah. 
How is this possible? DLG, the only one brave enough to whip out this strat, man. These other teams are fucking cowards playing their meta picks and winning. <laughs> Wait, is yeah, uh... DLG's 2-0, oh, man. Oh. Ooh, okay. I actually like the way Contracts played that. That was kind of fucking suavemente. Suavemente. Is fucking... What's the name? Think card. Is he on CLG? Yeah. He is. Okay. No, they interviewed uh, him for CLG's coach interview, but he's actually has no affiliation with the How team. How do you he's know it was shit. CLG coach interview? Was it branded in any way CLG? I don't think so. I'm not even going to fucking respond to that, Sneaky. I, I was actually confused when they showed him. Dude, I good. was actually so fucking worried for a sec that we weren't going to see Frozen Heart on Ezreal 3rd. When's Super uh, getting Frozen Heart? Wait, oh my god. It has please. good synergy with. It has really good synergy with Sivir's Man Immune, giving her extra AD as well as the ability haste, so it's actually a perfect fit into Sivir's kit. Ooh. That's true. Like, Frozen Heart this game, like, <sighs> yeah, you're against Jace, Viego, Sivir, a decent amount of physical damage, but I'm not convinced you actually need it. You don't. It's bad. I think Sterildas just gives you way more threat against them. I think all Ezreal players are pussies that are building Frozen Heart. Ooh, pussies. Yep. Sneaky would never. I actually wouldn't, unironically. I'm a damage only player. Sneaky would be building Spirit of Lizard Elder. Yep, damage. Oh man, is this CLG gonna? Are they gonna give soul here? Or not? Sorry, blah blah. Give their soul to. I their think soul. you kind of have to. I don't. I don't think you can run into their team with a kite comp. I actually like the way they're playing this. I think this is like that's what nice. you should do when you're on soul point. And that's if the other team's gonna full commit to setting up. There's no reason for you to walk into them. Just take the advantage. You'll get the same situation five minutes later, but you'll have like more items from the farm you got. I approve. Medius approves. Medius approves. I don't approve of the runoff at the end there where they just end up losing mid. But initially it was looking pretty solid. Yeah, I, what I just realized about this Sivir thing too is, yeah, I, not I'm not trying to like, I'm trying to understand it from his perspective and like one of them is like Sivir outscales Ezreal. <laughs> that like, that feels really good when you get to late game and you have like full items, but with this build, you don't really. Um, I think you, you ask Ezreal when you have like fucking 100% crit and you're just chunking people with a ricochet, but... Oh. This is not it. Oh. Can they even kill Liquor Ice here? No, I feel like he would like either 1v2 them or... Take Clarity? What the fuck? Oh, I, w I missed Clarity. <laughs> Such a good summoner. Oh. What can they do? Golden Guardians just Baron flipping it in their face. <clears throat> I don't Are they, think they're gonna that's finish. generally oh. recommended. Wait. I mean, this is what CLG wants. Like, they want a situation where Golden Guardians is all grouped up and they are trying to run into them. Like, this is yeah, what a poke slash kite comp wants for sure. Yeah. Now he can go down mid. Ooh. Okay. Nice little poke. Oh, did you see the Azure ulti at the end? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. What happened to it? It went an interesting way. Oh. I actually think what happened there, by the way, guys, is he meant to aim the Ezreal ulti at the bottom right of his screen, but it clipped his minimap, and he ended up aiming it, like, on uh... on top lane. Because it <laughs> went too far. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm behind my fellow comrades. Yo, what time are you guys at? I'm just wondering when Sivir spikes is all. 
Uh oh, contract's getting caught. He does not have ult or flash. I'm pretty sure he's just dead. How did he get there, actually? He was like. And the There's a lot of, of questions that death, with that play. Like, the why of was the he death there? is so bad, because they're going to give the drag for. Maybe in his mind, he assumes that the enemy team is is sitting on, on drag as it's respawning, so he thinks like his path up there is safe. Pretty big assumption to make. Like, why would you even want to be there? Like, when the fuck are you flanking his Viego with this comp? I don't know. I think he wanted to maybe sweep out Vision or control Baron, so when the enemy team does drag, like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, everyone fuck? just goes over. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It actually slowed his ear. Okay. Oh, and now he's chunked because of it? Humped? The pump and dump on his ear. This game is pretty sleeper, though. Really just going to come down to if CLG can take soul, maybe they can win. If nothing happens, I, I think CLG Golden should not be hitting Baron like this. This is a fucking throw and a half. Ah, oh, Israel's not there, though. Yeah, they got it. Oh, Dude, wow. how do they keep getting away with this shit? This happened yesterday, too. Wow. What the fuck? fucked up. They're playing a full poke comp, and the other team is just fucking gift wrapping them barons. That's crazy. CLG smurfing? Hoping with your lost call, Medios. I mean, I'm expecting people to react to situations reasonably. My bad. Yeah. When CLG walks to Baron and Golden Guardians gets pushed off, it's like they're... Thought process. Oh, oh, look it. Oh, Nick away. What, Gordry, you're full heal. Oh. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah, their thought process about that was like, okay, we pushed the enemy team off Baron. Where are they gonna go next? And somebody probably made the read that they're all gonna base. And the risk, the risk there is that like they come and stop you. The reward is definitely pretty game-changing. Now they're going to have Baron set up for drag, and that's soul for them. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think that's pretty fucking cap because the other team shouldn't all base while the other team, like, while CLG is standing in front of Baron. That's true. That is, that, but that's just kind of like a, a nice... Oh, shit. Oh, I thought Luger was going to get eat on by like, six eight. How, how many times do we talk about how teams just hitting Baron while the whole other team's alive, right? Like, that's yeah, actually what wrong. they did. Golden Guardians was just fucking trolling and didn't yeah. respond. Yeah, they need to ma they need to, to, to make a read there, and they could have gotten a big payoff for it. <clears throat> oh, man. I, I wonder if Infernal Soul will actually make a big enough difference for CLG. In the end, this Slee ulti did actually change the fucking turn of- like, it, it changed the course of action. Because it bought time, it cut a Blaze Olive off from starting the Baron, a Blaze Olive got chunked, and then he was a part of the reason why they called to base. Like, because he's low, because he got delayed, and Butterfly Effect, like, somehow mind controlled Golden Guardians, so I'll just leave Baron alone. <laughs> sure. uh, uh -oh. Contract has Flash. So he's oh, all right. What about Guardians Sona, failed their engage. This is actually what CLG needs. Oh no, yeah. Six Eight gonna die. Oh god. Oh, Sivir's popping the fuck off. It's over. Oh no. Oh my god. Uh, Sivir just flashed yeah. in. Wait, Licorice, Licorice hit the vital. No, wait, dude, dude, no, it, he wait, we like the... fucking invisible. With Dustblade. Why did he wow. hit the last vital? No, Luger was invisible from Dustblade. Yeah. Oh. CLG wins. <laughs> CLG wins. <laughs> What the fuck? Stewart is fucking broken. They're too brave. Oh Other teams are pussies. They I can't pull this shit off. I did, not catch, I did not catch that at all until Sneaky said it. Yeah. That <laughs> Sivir got an guy, assist. I didn't notice that either. I was like, why is he not hitting him? Yeah. I mean, uh, it looked weird as fuck. GG. Wow, Pride Soccer held 9 that shit hard. I mean, Yumi is over. actually like 0 for 3 or 4 today. 3, I think. 0 for 3. Dude. They actually get away with this cringe shit. Yikes! That's right, CLG wins. Let's fucking go. Medius is right the whole time. CLGs. I knew good. they had it. <laughs> I need to go look at this Baron though. Like, there's no fucking way they should just get Baron randomly for no reason. 
they hit contracts, that? delay the soul, or me. stop the soul. Yeah. Only a Blaze Olive and Olay are chunked. They have two pinks. And one stink. That's fucking crazy that they just let this happen. I think that really just speaks to how bad Golden Guardians is across the board. Like, that was totally their game to win, and they just fumbled at every possible but, but like, moment. Uh, okay, so the thing I don't like is... Ezreal build again? You, you, you have Ezreal, you're controlling the area. Like, Ezreal does not need to base. Why are they just giving up all this control anyway? Like, they should be at least, like, fucking with them, slowing them down, poking with Ezreal. Not just, like, slowly backing out, farming your jungle camps, just, like, greeting it out. This just shows that they're not thinking about what the other team can do at all. Yeah. Man, that's fucking wild. Steel G has gotten away with this in two consecutive games. Just playing comps that don't want a team fight and just yoinking a Baron for fun <laughs> and getting it. Golden Guardians had every option in the whole fucking world. Like, Fiora's winning side lane. She can split. Mid's winning, so they can push up and help Fiora split. And then when the enemy team is contained their base, then they can go for Baron. It's like, they do everything at the most, like, elementary level of the game. Oh my god, drags up. So we'll stand in the exact middle of the map giving the enemy team as much space as humanly possible to, like, move. And and then we'll go to Dragon's spawns. Oh, shit. Okay, Baron's up, too. We walk there, like, start it when the enemy... Like, they, they just have so many options. But they consistently pick, like, the fucking eighth best one out of all of them. So, I don't I don't know, man. Golden Guardians just feels... I don't have a lot of hope for them after watching. They're, I think they're one and two. But, like, their one win, I didn't really feel like was... The most convincing. <laughs> Dude, Freak's just they randomly on screen. People yeah. were talking about his outfit. <laughs> Someone's just like, Freak really needs to retire. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> we can't even fucking hear him. <laughs> the only thing you can do is see his ass. The fuck's we wrong can't with even here? see his ass. <clears throat> hey, he's not even bent over. What the hell? Where is he? Someone said Vegar V2 made a video about what we said about his video. The thing is, oh, I didn't sick. even watch his first video. Okay, hey, somebody sum up what he said in the video, man. I'm, I'm kind of lazy, no joke. What's the response video? Uh, I mean, I watched the video. I didn't think it was a bad video. My only critique was that, like, it seemed like he wasn't making the full use out of Trinity Force's, like, ramping base damage. Like, I, he didn't actually mention that. The whole conversation, I never said that, like, Vagar is, like, fucking wrong or right, because I actually straight up didn't watch the video. I think we were just talking about items, and it was, like, tying in what you had said about his video, which then just made us talk about all the different Ezreal item builds and, like, how... Well, I was saying just, that, it was, like, like by, case by case. The, the video was saying some, some really fucking decisive shit. Oh, you watched it? Yeah saying how like you're dumb if you do it this way or whatever and saying how like dustblade is dumb and shit but like dustblade's actually good i haven't actually yeah. tried prowler so i'll reserve my judgment on like how prowler feels i can't necessarily speak to it but in terms of like giving trinity justice it did not give any any justice to trinity because i don't think justice Trinity's... for trinity yeah i mean like he didn't say Trinity's bad in all scenarios, but like just the way he was testing it was just basically trolling. Wasn't the title of the video like Trinity Force is bad? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's fine because it's just a title. And like, like I said, the video is unlisted. Like, I think it was trying to like clickbait. Nah, but like, how am I supposed to give my worthless two cents on the side? If yeah, I the title of the video is all video caps, myself, Triforce that's... Ezreal is bad. Hmm? I was just saying, like, it's really hard to give my fucking two cents on stuff if I actually have to, like, watch the original video and, like, you know, take the time to understand what the person was saying. That's that just feels like a lot. Disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. Too much effort. It's really I'm asking a lot. I'm just a streamer. Lot. I'm not a fucking miracle worker. I, I can't... I can't do it all. I can't watch a seven minute video. Oh, sorry. I, I you know how say. much seven minutes of my time costs? Speak to my agent. Sure. Also can't watch or uh, check out Vigar's Twitter unblocked. You're blocked? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what <happened>? really? <laughs> I, yeah. 
It's probably just people tagging him in my cosplay shit. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Dude, I, mean, I wonder. What the fuck? I, I can only okay, assume. I don't know. <laughs> who else? Who else? Uh, <laughs> who else? Fucking like, have you found that's like blocked you? But you're like, wait, what the fuck? Would I ever do to that guy? Uh, I don't. I don't know. There's not that many. There's not that many. Oh my god. I, I've I've seen like a couple, but I don't remember their names. I heard uh, a little bit about TSM situation, which is, yeah, I, I got baited into thinking that TSM would come out swinging hard, uh, but as usual, scrims don't matter. I can't believe I had to learn that lesson again. Oh, but like, this uh, yeah. yeah, scrims do not matter, and I think that TSM is actually just not. The the stage nerves are really getting to them, and they're playing abnormally bad. Hold up, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch his video, and let you guys okay. know what he said. The response all right, all right, video. Go for it. Respect. Lucian I, Nami, I I told Edward to, to play this shit. He said he's not really that comfortable calling for resources bot, but oh. you know what? My opinion of Lucian Nami has always been, your your team can play the bot if they want, and if they don't play the bot lane, well, at least you'll you know you you at least go even in lane. Yeah, just farm it out. Wait for Gale Force. This is the thing that we were talking about earlier with like, you know, the one dimensional shit, but like in reference to drafting for your team, like Lucian Nami does need to be played around, but it's so worth it because it's so strong. Yeah, 100%. They can go fucking monkey mode against TK Senna. All right, I watched the video. What All right, show me. Tell me. Um, he was talking about how he thinks we didn't watch the video. And okay. he was saying that he was only comparing the damage of like a standoff Ezreal, which is why he was showing the Q. That was mostly it. And he was saying like, why do I bother making these videos if people don't watch them? But we watched it. Yeah. I watched it, Clueless. Double didn't watch it. Sneaky Media's watched it. <laughs> Unless he's referencing a different video. It was like, what was it, an 11-minute video, 7-minute video? Talking about Trinity Force, had 8K views, unlisted. Look, man, yeah. if the title is... I had to go to Anonymous to Browser to check the Twitter because I'm blocked <laughs> to, find, <laughs> to find the video. <laughs> Bro, the title is like, what is it? Don't, don't buy Ezreal on, or don't buy Trinity on Ezreal? What was the title again, you said? Let's get uh, the facts straight here. I fucking the hell. title of the video? Yeah. The title is Trinity Force Ezreal is bad. And I mean, like, dude, if the takeaway is that you... If, if, if I watch that video with that title on my takeaway is that Trinity Force Ezreal is bad... That's not really on that. I, I didn't watch the video, like I said, but like that's not really on you guys if that was your takeaway. Like, you're, you're definitely influenced by the title as you come into the video about what you're going to take away from it. Corky! Wait, that sounds fucking awful here. Is that a real pick? That seems I think, so bad. I think it's a real pick against Azir, maybe? But like, with the comps in mind? Fuck it, man. Yeah, I mean, I think Corky and loses it, value it, against it. fat tanks. You can just sort of like sit in front of him, eat his ults. Senna can sustain. I mean, yeah. But like, I'm thinking like with his comp. Well, what do you think would would fit with this comp? I feel like literally anything fits with Lucian Nami Viego. Does it though? I don't think yeah, so. I, I think you can play anything as long as your top laner is willing to suck it up. I mean, Orn, Quirky Orn, is like Orn, a Orn. Quirky's a champ that just needs fucking help. Like he can't survive early. He's just fucking yeah. terrible. And then like, I, he, I was he's going to be giving the enemy team fucking opportunities. No, you're right. And, and, and Lucia needs help. I, I see what you're saying. Like, they're both too selfish. And yeah, of course, Huni is going to play something with zero CC. I, I, sold, I keep oh, saying this, man. One. Wow. TSM <laughs> needs a bitch boy. They need a guy yeah. who's like, hey, guys, you know, we picked this early and I am going to suck it up. I'm going to play the engage. I'm going to play the tank. I'm going to play the CC. No one is ever... 
willing to not be an alpha male and That's like what I'm saying, just say yeah. fuck it, man. I'll, the fuck? I'm, I'm gonna carry. Illusion Nami, I mean, like, we, we, we used to play the top, right? Like, we just need to cover top, like, a couple times. Then we can play Illusion Nami. Like, maybe if it's really spicy, we go for the gank. No, dude. No. We play for bot lane. It's fucking troll. We ban Fiora. We pick the Orn. Like, that's the move. Oh, well. Oh, well. Game's over. 3 is not that bad to start LCS off with. <laughs> I mean, C9's the same, so... <laughs> uh, I mean, was ones. Boris ever, like, an official name? I thought it was just what people referred to the shopkeeper as. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But I, th I think there's different shopkeepers. That's a little... Classico in competitive play. 20. If you yeah. get a ward shared four or less ways as a soul laner, you'll hit level two off the first wave. You don't need to wait for the uh, second wave to hit level two. Gives you a pretty big advantage knowing that. And if you share it five ways, it doesn't work. That's why they took a while to kill the ward. So, so Tactical and Mia can actually get a lot of damage because they're not leashing. And at this point, they should know that Immortals is leashing. Okay, they're not going to do the bot lane tribush bullshit, but... What are they going to do? What does Lucian start? E? W. W. W? W, yes. Wait, wait why? Okay, Q, I guess? I don't know. Wait, I think it's... I think W, w is so strong. Fuck? Gives uh... you the... Uh, it gives you the crazy autos after. I mean, okay, if you if you were in a full all-in fight, W is probably best, but Q is so inconsistent to hit level one. Like, it it's not guaranteed, but W is. It does less damage. I'll take the guarantee every time. I'll also take the trade that happens when you press W on them every time. Which is Wait, just what? like two empowered autos and back. I, I think like obviously Q has some benefit. It has a shorter cooldown. It does a little bit more so, like, damage, with like up front. Or like what do you mean by two empowered autos? Oh, like U W and then you auto and you get the empowerment. You get the you get the extra damage by yourself. No Nami. The vigilance. Does Q not give you that? You don't nope. get vigilance. Y you get vigilance off of U W, bro. Not from yourself. It's teammates only. Like if a teammate Mike hits. Rowan? Yeah, yeah, if a teammate hits them and they have vigilance or they have the W on them, you get vigilance. So like, if you throw W on Baron, you just get a gazillion stacks permanently. Oh, you're right. But, Nami but does like, have to hit them. Yeah, like Nami has to attack them. So like, if you're by yourself, it wouldn't work. Oh, so vigilance is the. It's the buff Lucian bonus gets. magic damage. Yeah. I see. I'm looking. I'm looking. You're right. You're right. Your teammate yeah. needs to. Your teammate needs to auto them. Yeah, but I mean, you're right about it being the best in an all-in. If you're gonna yeah. all-in. Wait, so if your teammates consistently hitting them while while you W, you'll just keep getting vigilance autos. Yep. As long That's as it's good. triggering some buff on you, yeah. I yep. thought you could self proc it, but I think I've just been playing with like I've been playing like totally eight mode level one, and it's like always up. Yeah, yeah. It would just be from hitting. What do you take at level two if you go W at one? E. Yeah. It also gives you a nice level two trade where like you press W during your E animation and then you just get two autos in back and it like all the damage kind of hits at once. But like if you if you dash in and then you auto Q, it, it kind of keeps you in for like that fraction of a second longer. Doesn't make a big pretty mm -hmm. big difference obviously, but like it's kind of nice to just do something really fucking So in that fast. case, like, you, you don't care about the PTA, you just to no, get the two autos in back, so they don't hit oh, you Oh, what is going on? Oh, oh, oh. Kenby is getting pwned. That's a flash out. Kenby is getting absolutely oh, wow. pwned. Because... Oh my god, he's oh, dead. Oh shit, he actually got him. I, oh, I guess he's sending in that heal. Damn. Oh! Speak of putting the moves on. I am slightly, I'm slightly, like, surprised that Kenby died, but like, this is what I mean by like, the guy, like, they, everyone tells him, oh, he's a mechanical god, he's a mechanical god, he's so good, he's so cracked. Has he played against a team that <laughs> is coordinated, like a pro team? He goes for this gank in solo queue, 99% of the time, it's gonna work. 
He goes to this gank in pro play where his entire jungle pathing has been tracked from start to finish and the enemy team knows every gank timer and like reads the body language of both teams. It gets counter ganked. Like it's so hard to like have those pop off games as a jungler just because you're good in solo queue and you take these risks and they work out. Then you go to pro play and like every single game Kenvi is actually the first one dead. <laughs> I'm not yeah, saying it's I mean, bad. It, it's just, it, it's just there's not definitely easy. a big gap yeah. between pro play. Like the things that yeah. make you good as a jungler in pro play, um, are like there's there's some overlap between solo queue for sure, but it's there's a lot of differences. Yeah. Would you say champions queue is closer to pro play or solo queue? Closer to pro play for sure. That's definitely. Cool. It really depends on who's in the game, right? Like, but but it definitely is. It's not solo queue esque. Okay, this is your build is actually fucking cap, by the way. Well, Pee not playing against Bjorks in this game actually, Whoa. so he can just <laughs> now, now, now that he's not playing against his former coach, he can build whatever items. No he wants. man, this Come this on. is such a grief. It's actually not real at all. What the fuck? I, I think it's actually so bad on his ear. Like, I'd rather see fucking cooldown boots on his ear to get more soldiers out. Because, like, getting the three soldiers for your attack speed is, like, where it all comes from. Yeah. Like, you're actually just dumped gold to do fucking piss damage. I don't like that. I would be really surprised if TSM lose this game. Their bot lane is so in, in such a good spot. They got first blood on Kenvi. And Azir is troll building. If they, like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, they can't possibly, like, lose this shit. I mean, I guess the logic is, like, Yasuo and Yone get really big spikes on Berserker Reef, so why not Azir? Ah, that makes sense. He also has a high skill cap. Yasuo and Yone have huge spikes on Zerker Greaves, so why not fucking Oriana? Actually, I, I didn't even want to say Oriana because PoE actually does yeah, build he might do that. Zerkers on Oriana. Wait, does he? Or would he? Dude, that Louis Vuitton, I, I would say he, he would he. So sick. No, no, he did. He did build Zerkers on Oriana. He did? Really? He did. What? Yes. Really? I like, really. I remember this game because my whole team was watching it with their jaws on the floor. Like, is this really happening? And I think he won. I must have missed it. Man, I, I really feel like PoE would be so fucking good if he didn't troll build. It's the crazy part. Like, he's managed to stay, like, decent in spite of his fucking troll builds. <laughs> yep. But he, he's, like, just so fixated on, like, just building off meta shit. Yeah, I don't know why either. Do you guys know what a trackpad is? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I guess for those who don't know, it's like a mouse with like the ball of the mouse on the side. So you like the way you move your cursor is with your thumb. That's not There's what a trackpad this... is. Or er, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Why am I? No, you're uh, you're right. You're right. A trackpad is a trackpad is fucking. Do you know what a trackpad the... is? I don't know what a trackpad is. <laughs> what am I talking about, guys? I don't know. What whatever I... the That's fuck. A... It's called a trackball. It's called a trackball. My bad. My bad. I don't know what a trackpad is. A trackball. God, I'm a dumbass. Um, okay. Okay. There was an EU player named Kerp who played on a trackball. And I was always wondered, like, it, would this guy have been, like, caps before his time if he just didn't play like that? Yeah, he was, like, pretty good with it. Yeah. But if he just didn't? Oh! Big kill. So, when Kenvi took Harold, where did he think that he was? <laughs> <laughs> It could have uh, been anywhere. We don't know. It's like, damn, Clueless. anyone could have taken that Herald. Surely he's not top lane still. Now yeah, I'm confused. I guess I'm trolling, guys. Wait. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait. That's actually... That's worth. <laughs> worth. Fucking large. <laughs> oh, no. Bot lane turret's about to take it hardcore. But yeah, I know that Kerp guy, man. I'm telling you, it's it's like Poe. Like, they made a deal with the devil. It's like I want, I want the skills of a pro player. Okay, <laughs> but here's the roguelike downside. Ultimate yep. bravery. Yeah. 
Peewee is ultimate bravery though, yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Ooh, Santa just got fucking toasted, almost that, one beast. Dude, that was a, a great fucking escape by, oh my god, like, RW. That's crazy. Not interrupted. I, I didn't think he was gonna live. Like, I thought he was gonna be defucked. I mean, Nami didn't have ult. That's true, actually. Yeah, actually. Where was the ult? He used earlier to stop the base. Uh, what? Oh. Interesting. Senaton Kench feels like it needs to be played around, even though it's a great weak side, because the payoff is so big, and I think you need some sort of equalization for, like, Tom Kench just having trouble farming compared to ADs. So, like, if it goes like this, I think it's definitely worth for Nocturne to, like, spend... A lot of attention bot. What? Yeah, it's kind of too late now. Looks like Immortals just said, I go mid with Senna now. Yeah, Tom's down a little bit. It really depends on the lane. Like some of them he can actually farm like perfectly and not get punished for it. Cause they're actually yeah. like being giga aggressive. But this is one of the ones where like they're gonna get slammed. Oh, she's full Emax Nami. Yeah, oh, that's. I don't, I don't know how good that is. Yeah, usually people do. I, I feel like w. it's kind of good, even though it, people don't typically do it. I think it can be good. It helps, helps a lot to the burst, but. I looked up a Nami. I searched Nami Wiki, which almost always brings up the League page, but this one was a One Piece Wiki that showed up first. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a fucking One Piece character. I never got into One Piece because it was just too many episodes and I kept missing him as a kid on like fucking Toonami. And uh, now it's like, I don't even know how many episodes in they are, but it's just too much. 1, Whoa, Pewee's been practicing that one in customs. <laughs> oh? Going for Corgi? Big engage? Actually zero damage? Yeah, Has to I think it might have been a little deep. Mortals on full retreat mode. All right. Interesting. Close. All, NT. Of all the champs to go on, felt like Quirky was one of the worst. Probably yeah, I mean, a I, Nami I don't angle there's... there. I think if you go on Nami, you get her flash for sure. Yeah. But but if you go on Quirky, know. you get his Vulk and nothing else. Oh, oh, Mio's so slow there. Oh, oh dude, geez, that sucks to see. That's that's actually not easy. That's uh, sorry, that's not hard to react to. He's shuffling at you. What do you think he's going to do? Press R, man. You flash. Mm -hmm. Oh. Rekill forked over. Oh, I feel like you just Oh, he doesn't have enough information. I think he. I think right there he saw that Corky went missing topside and thought that Corky was coming to cover it. So, not really worth it. But if he had map pack on, it would have been nice. Now he's running bot to drop Herald. So I think they're doing. They're trying to do a setup so they can get a turret with Herald. That Immortals is gonna be slightly ahead in gold. Oh, but loss is two levels down. This is the worst, man. You can't catch up an XP now. Speak is doing the canyon build. Dead man second after Kraken. It's so weird. I don't know. Yeah. I've tried it. it. Like it doesn't feel horrible. Just I don't know. Kraken seems like one of those items that synergizes heavily with building other like offensive items. Not as much like a standalone thing. Kraken into dead man's, yeah. Wow. What the <laughs> The fuck? snipe herald? What is someone what trying is to sweep? Yes. I, 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 I th yeah, I think it might be. I've, I've definitely that. done that. I like Wait, instinctually no, press sweeper. Kenby, what? You're kidding me, man. This guy's really letting Sage affect his, his performance. Like, what was that? 
<laughs> he just randomly pressed ulti and ulted Vlad full HP with every ability up right before drag. Like, it's like he's he's yeah. actually griefing. And now how are they gonna fight this? Just leave. Does he want to lose? Just leave. He he just fucking used package, his again? ulti for nothing. Just leave. Oh my god, yeah. this is gonna be so bad for immortals. Oh, oh fat package. God. Oh, Peely goes Peely? with his scoop. Actually Wait, kills Peely? Axel. Wait. Huh? Wait, is this good for Immortals? How is this good How for Immortals? How in the world did they win this fight? Tactical forgot to flash again. Unlucky. <laughs> Dude, he's died so many times this weekend without flashing. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he's choking pretty hard. What like, the fuck was that? Is that is a though? horrible spot to fight a Nocturne in when he has ult. But he did not have ult. And good package. Yeah. That, I, that doesn't feel like you should ever lose that fight. That's kind of wild. I mean, I thought it was just totally the worst position for Immortals to be in. Getting flanked by Quirky with Package. It was a four-man package, and Nocturne had just blown ulti. It was, like, probably one of the most perfect starts to the fight that you could ever ask for. Three-man Vlad ulti. And then look at Pioli, actually. actually. so low? I don't know. So they oh knock my. Azir in. Oh my god, again, he tries no to flash on the Azir ulti. You're kidding me, man. Just fucking Yeah, scoot. that's pretty bad. Oh, jeez, that's just... Oh, wait, Nocturne died. Yeah, he tried to go in on Lucian and just didn't work out. Okay. Well... P TSM still has a good win condition to play to. They're one drag away from winning the game. The gold is still in their favor, despite all these like random happenings that are just make no sense. Uh, Their comp scaling just fine. I think they're in a good spot. Oh, Ooh, and... good reaction by Revenge there. Ten down. I, I think Speaker should have not put himself in vision before letting the W go. Perfect. Yeah. But I, I don't see any world where he kills. Yeah, I mean, I don't, they don't really kill him ever. Oh, okay, okay. Dirt in place. Yeah. And four. Finally, there was a semblance of of pulse, but it wasn't really an angle for Azir. So. Yeah, I almost wonder if they could have punished him harder for that. Yeah, it, no it flash. definitely looked like they could have. Just slid but, in, missed his ult. Think usually... about how much attack speed he has. I don't really know if. Wait. Pause. Oh. I think Vlad's actually dead here. Oh. Yeah, he is. Hoonie? This is this is the Hoonie special. I would be in. omega fucking tilted if I'm TSM and my top laner did that. Like, what the fuck was that? You actually just ran into their red and killed yourself to a feeding Nocturne. No, <laughs> every every game, Hoonie will have like a extremely questionable death, and it, it will just come out of nowhere. Just like, whoa, he just. He just died out of nowhere, you know. There was not really any <laughs> any reason for him to be there at all. And then, and then the other thing that's been a, a two for two is the the game ends when Tactical just dies with every summoner up or every ability up. Okay. 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 Poe is fucking gone. And he's gone. I think right there he was possessed by the spirit of Huni, where he's just taking jungle <laughs> camps that he shouldn't. <laughs> Okay, honestly, the game is, is actually coming to a pretty cool point. Like, two minutes until Hextech Soul. This is the soul with the highest win rate across every region. It's really fucking OP, and DSM is... Yeah, I, th I think TSM should invest pretty heavily into setting up for this. Like, they've got Corky Lucian. Although, I yeah. I don't think Corky's package is going to be up before the soul, or, like, maybe just before the soul because of like when he grabbed it and used it last time. Warning. Wait, or did Warning. he just grab it? Lord Dom's second has been completed. Warning. No, Surreal's grudge was not built on Lucian. Yikes. Dude, Lord Dom's is really bad here. I don't know. It only helps him kill Tom, which he isn't really even hitting. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem right. That don't seem right. Something ain't right with this boy. 57 seconds, man. I think Revenge pushes this wave and he just walks down. If you keep splitting here, you're fucking over your team's setup. This is so awkward for Immortals because it, if you look at it, they're being outnumbered. Like, TSM outnumbers them 5-4 to four on, on the mid and bot side. And on the kill That's score. where Drag is. 
Yes. Oh, and score, but it's like flipped. So, so like, what's the play here, right? Like, the only play is for Revenge to physically walk his champ down. And I really do not like that Maple responded. Like, look what Maple's doing. Now he's leaving the setup. Oh, no, 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 This no, is the no. most important part of the game. He's got setup yeah, in River. It I think doesn't it's matter that he has AP. You, you lose all your time. control, though. Look, like, this right is here. not this King good. Ward? That's yeah, a thousand yeah, damage. Corky can do a thousand damage I'm to totally. anybody right there. <laughs> game changing. Oh, like sword, though. I mean, I mean, he gets I, packaged, but it's it's too late. Like, what was the point of setting up if you're going to give up the setup? It doesn't matter. It, like, it, do, all that matter was... Push. That, oh. that wave's not doing shit. Woo. Even if she takes a tier 2 and keeps going, like, that's still good for you. Yeah. You and just those... can't... You shouldn't let yourself get into this spot. Now you don't have vision of, of these bushes. You're just going for an honorable flip. I'd say Immortal... Like, Immortals doesn't have to actually even get poked here by the Corky Nami, which... Should be a pretty big oh issue. Oh my god, my yeah. Oh my like, god. Imagine he's doing that before they have the position. Oh, I don't Kenvy, see how they can fight. Kenvy needs uh, to make a miracle happen. PoE is out of the game. He can't do any damage anymore. Maple's gonna kill someone here. Oh, he saw it! He saw it. Oh, an actual flip. They actually take the flip and lose it. Unlucky. What's Maple doing? Is it, is it good or is it bad? Mm, Seems fine. It's definitely aggressive. Revenge solo kills Huni on the side. Oh? Okay, it's even. It's pretty even. close fight. Oh, I think TSM's gonna oh. take it though. Okay, no, it's not even. It's not even. They get Baron off this. Wow, yeah, that was man, pretty crazy. I oh my god, I'm actually so triggered watching Corky do that play. My god, <laughs> like you don't even yes. fucking need package. You don't care about the top wave, man. Like the having the position is so much more important. That rocket should have happened. Fucking 30 seconds ago, man. And then this anything? is not a 50-50. Yeah, he, he sits there, like you guys are saying, and then once they have the control, he can recall TP with package while he has control. Yes. Exactly. And then he has what he and wants. What oh my god, he fuck? died to They're like almost uh... dying to... <laughs> <laughs> yep, Tactical did just die to Baron off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Speak is actually gonna die. Speak is still flash, he's dead. Pause champ. Oh. oh, he's actually dead. That is so tragic for TSM. What the fuck? <laughs> That's lame. Dude, I mean, ba what? Maple was actually was that was that fruit up dying before too. that? I'm gonna give Tactical the benefit of the doubt and say that fruit wasn't there before he died. Oh yeah, no, I I think it was just their they PBEing must have just and, and they failed some random mechanics. You know, like they probably got hit by some shit they shouldn't. I was trying to think of the most iconic raid fight of WoW and like. In Shadowlands, at least, and uh, I actually totally forgot that shit was like ancient history. Pain Smith, Pain Smith would be good. Fucking fuck Sylvanas Painsmith. could be good. Fuck Pain Smith. <laughs> that was one of the best fights. Spiked death comes for you. <laughs> oh. And TSM wins, anyways. Well played, though. Well, well, well. Oh, Most these rockets are draft. straight one-shotting loss. Good? I don't think so, but they're winning. Oh, dude, I just cooked up the funniest joke, and you guys are not... Memes! <laughs> Let's hear it, man. Is it a minion meme? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is it I actually, uh, old? I just wanted to reference it, but I'm not gonna actually say it. Hmm. You can't just blue ball us like that. What is it? Yeah, I'm waiting now. I'm not talking till you tell us. You know what, guys? Come on, I I don't want to be that guy. Oh my goodness! Wait, he's rooted. And he used oh. cleanse. Ow! What the oh, fuck just hit GG, him, man? GG, oh my TSM god! Wins. And he's fucking gone. An atomic fucking bomb hit them all. Hit oh. by a goddamn truck. Pretty much. Oh. All right. I think against oh. a Corky is like the, the one time in the game right now where I would probably justify like Ignar getting Warmogs early. Just so that like your whole role is just to stand in front of Corky and tank his rockets. And then like you just back up, heal, and then come back, do it again. Yeah. Because otherwise, like if he's just actually pot shotting your carries like you're just gonna fucking lose i didn't hear no bell no bell and i i do hear the bell now it's over
It's dink. all ogre. Dink donk, dink donk. TSM actually winning a game. Oh my Logan! gosh! A food here, back. I think C9's record is probably the most deceptive of any of them, just because, like, they haven't actually played a real team comp with their real roster, right? Like, I think vision control is actually such like a huge part of a game for like how good a team looks, and like, they played with fucking Yumi, Lulu, and then like an AD carry on Senna. So like, I think when they have like their actual roster there with like actual sport champs who can set up the map and play with Blabber, they're gonna look like significantly yeah, better. Sven. Yeah. First time. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know how Sven's gonna be as a support, but I assume he understands the game well enough to pull it off. True. I'd say if if I was gonna pick ten out of the ten eighty carries, you know, LCS eighty carries a couple years ago, who would be the best role swap? It would be Sven. Um, he was always really good at filling in solo queue would like fill top and mid and like beat lcs players in lane and he was also one of the few ad carries who was like good as fuck at the mages like he could play syndra he could play like karma and morgana ad carry uh like he was good he was like actually a good mage player i remember like when i i played with soren he was like yeah that was like the one thing he was like insane at <laughs> um so like i mean i i guess my point is I don't think he, like, I think he could totally fuck it up, but I want to wait and see, because support's pretty easy to play. And he's a versatile guy. Support's so easy, Yeah, I think dude. mechanically support's easy. I, I think it has a really high ceiling, though, like, especially in a competitive setting, like, the best support player is going to be able to, like, make everyone on the team look really fucking good. Yeah. Just by like knowing when and where to get vision, like knowing what place the enemy team's gonna be going for, how to like play around them. When's the next super week? <clears throat> uh, I think it's weeks four and eight. No, or maybe it's, it's yeah. I think it's usually every five like, three and nine. Weeks. So it's weeks four and eight. See you guys in three weeks. Dude, Bogey. Hell yeah. All right. Goodbye. Bye bye. See ya. It's been fun. See ya. Week one and eight of the Super Weeks? Jesus Christ. We gotta wait all the way till the end?